Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Ravi. Do you guys want to see something really cool? Ah! Man, this thing really packs a punch. Anyway, today we're doing some fun pranks. You guys seem to really like the last Trim Trim video where uh, I did a bunch of pranks on Lonnie, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Let's start with the first prank, shall we? Oh my gosh, all these snacks look great! Grab some popcorn. What is that? Why is it moving? What's going on? Oh, go to investigate, and little do we know, it's... 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 A rat. Oh my... What? Oh, oh, um, how did they do it? Take your box, cut out the bottom, then you get a little cardboard sheet, put it right over two things, cut a little hole in that bad boy, put a tablecloth over it, cut a little slit in the tablecloth, then you put your popcorn box right over the hole. Pop your head in, and boom! You're just a popcorn head. This one actually looks like it uh, could actually work, so I'm gonna try it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is make the table. So I got this piece of cardboard that I'm just gonna go ahead and stick right in the middle right here. I'm gonna get some tape. I just tape the sides down so that it doesn't really move. Looks good, now we're gonna cut the hole. Ah, very nice, now it's time to add the tablecloth. Cut the little slit. Okay. I don't actually have a proper popcorn bowl, so I think I'm just gonna have to make one out of this paper. Just like this. I think this might work. Tape these up. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and tape it to this tablecloth. Now it's time to pop some popcorn. I think that three bags ought to do it, but if not, uh, oh, oh well. <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think that three bags is gonna be enough. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that doesn't even like, that doesn't even fill it at all. Oh well, that's what I got. Well, I guess there's only one more thing to do. And that's test it out on Tori. But first I gotta get inside of this weird thing. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Is it working? How does it look? Oh my gosh. I'm Tori Nebranski! I have a surprise for you. I got you some popcorn. It's just sitting on the table. Oh wow, there's popcorn on the table. Boom! Tori Nebranski! I'm inside the popcorn! What's happening to your head? What are you doing? I... Pull this thing off. Pull this... Oh no! Tori, no, stop! No, stop! I'm ahead! Boom! It was a prank the whole time! Did I get you? Are you scared? Like, it's supposed to be like hidden. Like I wasn't supposed to know you were in there. I was. The I was just. That? I was just a head inside the popcorn. Well, guys, uh, it doesn't look like Tori fell for it. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I don't know if I should actually be eating your popcorn that was on your head. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, I'll see you later. Probably you have to just clean this one up. No, I'm. Please. I got it. I got other stuff to work on. Okay, I'll clean it. Okay. okay. Thank you. I gotta go. <laughs> Okay, so I couldn't find any fake snakes at Walmart, so we're just gonna have to use this little fake frog instead. Good enough, I guess, right? And we'll go ahead and use some of this thread for string. Just wrap that around there, cut the extra off. And here's our little clip thing. I couldn't find any clothes hangers, so we're just gonna use this. Kinda tie it around there, and perfect! Okay, let's go test this out on Tori! So Tori's actually been catching on to these pranks pretty fast, so I'm gonna have to be really sneaky with this one. <laughs> Oh, Tori Nebranski! <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, is there any way that you could take the Benj out? Sure! Benjamin! Benjamin, what did you find? Why do you have a frog? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god! That frog is attacking you! Benji, get it! Get it, Benji! Benji, get the frog! No, get the frog! Oh my god! Benji, you gotta catch it! It's attacking Tori! Get it, Benji! Oh no! What was that? I got you! You've been pranked! Why, why is it a... Oh my god, you look like you're like suffocating him. We did it, Benji. We got her. <laughs> oh my god, he's just spinning. What a silly boy. What are the comments for like it? Here you go. I got you. Got me. Well, that's, I guess we said this one works. Crush a new glass screen protector using a hammer and put it on the screen. I am giving the phone to Redhead. Oops, it falls. Oh no, the screen is broken into pieces. She will not be able to deal with this shame. Okay, this one looks pretty simple. All I need is my phone. This one actually already has a screen protector on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and rip it off. 
There we go. Now we need to crack this baby. Yeah, that's looking uh, that's looking pretty cracked. Go ahead and put that back on our phone. Oh. Oh man, now it's not sticking. Um, okay, let's see. I can try and tape it on. It's perfect. I don't think they'll ever tell that this is being held on with tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it all the way around too. There we go. And uh, I think I have done it. Yes, it is now the perfect prank. Look how many holes there are. I can't believe they dropped it and broke it. What a jerk. Oh man, what a wonderful day, Lonnie. Don't you agree? I agree, it's a, a day. Wow, do you want to see something really cool on my phone? I would love nothing more. Uh, here you go. Okay, let me oh, Lonnie! Lonnie, how dare you? Uh, Don't mind me, I'm just showing this camera that happens to be here. I can't believe you, you completely cracked my phone screen. I am in so much distress for upsetting my friend. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe it's broken forever. Wait, let me try again, I won't mess up this time. Okay, I told you. Oh! You really need to learn how to hold things, my friend. Well, anyway, I have something else to tell you. What is that? <laughs> this whole thing's a prank! <laughs> You've been pranked! I've been taken for a fool. Well, guys, I guess we could say this prank works! Wrap a chewing gum, put a gum stick on a slice of bacon, cut off the excess, blot the bacon strip with a napkin, wrap it in the foil instead of the chewing gum. Emma unwraps a chewing gum stick but she finds a piece of bacon instead of the gum. Finally, I found a good way to tell Tori that I want her breath to smell like meat in the morning. We undo the package. Okay, so now we gotta get the bacon, which is being held captive by the monster in my closet. Ah! It's gonna reach inside its mouth! Oh my god! Oh, it's attacking me! Oh, it's attacking me! Get back! Get! Oh, that was a mission. Then we're gonna unwrap the bacon from our monster guts. Mmm, bacon. Pioneers used to eat this stuff raw. I mean, they did it in the video. And then cut it so that it'll fit inside the wrapper. Don't need that anymore. Carefully, carefully. This is perfect. It is bacon. Time to test this out on my girlfriend. Hey, Tori, I got a nice, nice sweet treat for you. What is it? Meat flavored gum! What is this? It's bacon. Aren't you gonna eat it like they did in the video? Can I eat it? I don't know. I don't you... think it's safe because it's not cooked. Cut. Okay, so this one's very similar to the knife prank that I did a while ago. If you guys want to check that out, click right here. But it's basically the same thing, only with a screw. So I guess our first step is to break the screw in half. See if I'm strong enough. Uh, oh, man. I'm not strong enough to break it in half. What the heck? It just doesn't want to break. I'm bending it. Ah, oh, I did it. I bent it in half. Oh no, it's kind of bent. That's not good. Well, good enough for government work. Dude, this looks so ridiculous. Well, uh, it's time to test it out. Tori, help me. I accidentally fell and I put a, a screw through my phone. Is that a worm? Is that a worm? No, it's a screw. Oh, it's a screw. I put a screw through my phone. Oh no. It went through my phone and, okay. no. Uh, oh wow, it broke off. Wait, you wait, fixed wait, it. Wait. No, Tori, we're supposed to make it better. Make my phone better. Look, it, it went through my phone. Oh no. Why did you do this? You fell. I fell and it just it protected my leg and I oh. fixed it for you. You fixed it. You're the best girlfriend ever. Thank you for fixing my phone. I love you. Goodbye. Do you want your screw? I fixed your screw too. It's it's just it's good as new. <laughs> you can you can keep this to remember me by. Uh, remember you bad. What do you mean? Okay, I gotta go. Goodbye. Did it work? I really hope that worked. Otherwise, if it didn't, I'm gonna look really stupid. <laughs> You know these kind of pranks? They're my absolute favorite. It really shows how much someone cares about you, you know? If you have a nail going through your hand and someone reacts like they're the one hurting, you know you have a good friend there. So we got our pens. Don't need that anymore. I don't even know what the fuck I would use this for. Just gonna take a couple of these bad boys. I gotta cut these somehow without them flying up and hitting me in the eye. Just the fact that needles are gonna be... <gasps> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That would feel awful if I've stepped on these things. I've stepped on so many thumbtacks in my life. Like, you don't even understand. Do you think three is enough? Let's go for one more. Not only did I stab myself once in the hand with a pin needle, I did it three times, Tori. That's how big of a dumb <laughs> I am. Then we get our hot glue gun. There we go, just get that. Just like that. Apparently I'm supposed to be able to just put it on my finger and it won't hurt. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't burning me that awfully. A little dot, that's not bad. Oh, it fell off. I feel like I might need to put more. Okay, so that's one on there. This one's kind of harder than it looks, I guess. So I, I think I'm just gonna try and do just a bunch of them. Maybe I should get some parchment paper. 
gonna keep adding some hot glue to it, I guess. And then I'll glue this onto my finger. I feel like these need to be a little closer together. Oh no, it actually stuck to my finger. This looks like a decent little <laughs> cup, I guess. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the bottom part. Oh no, where'd the other needles go? That one's straight up like that. This one's like nightmare fuel. Where's the last needle? There it is. I need the last one right here. Come on, I can't even pick it up. Oh Whoa. my God, that is scary. That's just in my nail right now. This looks so awful. And then little kids try these hacks. This sounds like terrifying. That's our bottom part. No, come on, stay up. So we got our bottom part and our top part all set. Now it's time to glue these babies out of my finger. Please don't burn my finger. Please don't burn my finger. I'm gonna move these needles in case I jolt and I go back. Then I'll have a needle stuck in my finger. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, let's uh, let's look at that awful. Okay, now we're gonna try the back one. Please don't be too hot on my nail. It's actually kind of stayed up. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks awesome. Oh god. Ah! Yep, it looks like uh, I successfully stabbed my finger. Now we gotta add the blood part. Oh my goodness. This is actually the same paint that I used for one of my other videos where I had my girlfriend do my voiceover and it was a prank. I'll show you guys a little clip really quick. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no, stop! Oh, this is so weird! Okay, now he's again. If you guys will watch that video, I'm gonna go ahead and put a card to it right here. Yeah, so uh, this looks like it's all done. Let's test it out on Tori. Tori Dabransky, help! I've stabbed my finger! Help me! I stabbed myself on the finger four times! How'd you do that? I did it! Why? It hurt. Help me! Help me get it off! Help me take it out! I need to go to the hospital. Ow, no! Ow! I pulled all of them out at the same time! Ow! Oh, that looks like it's gonna be. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's paint. It's not dry yet. Yeah, yeah, it's. Oh, I mean, I'm bleeding! <laughs> I mean, it's blood. Okay, well, I don't know what you want me to do, cause this, I can't, I can't take, take it off. Take it off. Ah! I'm <laughs> but it's on your nail, isn't it? I'm kidding. It doesn't hurt. Here, here. Ew, ew. Just wiping all this blood on me. I can't take that one off, cause it's on your nail, and I'm scared I'm gonna rip off your nail. No, I'm scared I'm gonna rip off my nail. Here, get it off. Kiss it. Can you kiss it? Kiss it, Tori. <laughs> I got her. So you're at a party, drinking your drinks, you know, being spooky. Then all of a sudden your friend comes up. Hey, what's that? Oh, well let me show you. Oh! Is that an eyeball? How did they do it? They put some gelatin in there, then they mixed it with a little bit of water. Food dye, black food dye specifically. Poured a little bit in the bottom of a cake pot mold. This is for like the, the darker part of your eye, like the pupil. Then you add some vanilla jello underneath that. Then you just put some vanilla jello over that. That's actually for the white part of your eye. Mix in a little bit of red food dye, and you just drop it in there for all the little veins. Put them together, and boom, you got yourself a little eyeball. Yum, yum. Okay guys, so unfortunately I couldn't find any white vanilla jello. However, I did find these gummy eyes. And you know, I'm pretty sure they'll do the same trick. I mean, I'm just not making them. I'm really sorry. I know I'm normally a crafty guy, but I, I just couldn't find any jello. Yeah, here are our eyes. Oh, yeah, that, that looks really close to mine. Okay, let's test this out on Tori. Oh, hey, Tori Dabransky. Hi. How is it going? Pretty good. Uh, would you like to see a magic trick? I learned how to pop out my eye. I don't want to see this anymore, Robbie. Too bad, you're about That's to see it. That's dangerous. You ready? <gasps> <gasps> It's it matches my other one, see? Your eyes are green, but okay. I think I know how to fix this, are you ready? Yeah. Oh my god, my eye is back! That is not how it works, Robbie. My eye was delicious. Robbie, you can't just eat eyeballs and have them pop in your head. Is that well, it happened to me. I really got you, didn't I? Oh, I I, I believed it 100%. Tori, I have a confession. What? Put out your hand. No, I don't want it out of Oh. Gross! Oh. I didn't actually eat my real eye. Oh, no way, really? This is this is just candy. I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't actually eat your eye, Robbie. You've been pranked! How does this make you feel? Sad. Very sad. I'm sorry. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one works. Take that. Out of way!
<gasps> here's our Sharpie. Here's our whiteboard marker. Let's do this. So apparently, uh, we just easily just go ahead and pull this out just like this. Oh, wow, it does come out. That was easy. And then we go and take the same one out of the permanent Sharpie. Oh, wow, that one also came out really easy. I was not expecting that. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go ahead and test this out on Tori. Let's just go ahead and grab my whiteboard. Tori to Brands. I got you yet another gift that you will love. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. You'll never guess what it is. It looks like a whiteboard. It's a whiteboard. Oh, my God. I also got you a pen to, to use on it. I want me to write. Uh, I want to draw you? Write whatever you want. I'll draw you. Wow. Oh my gosh, you're drawing me. It looks beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. You're drawing me so good. Wow, it's me. I look like a Peanuts character. You don't have pants on. I don't know how to draw pants really good. It's okay. Wow, that really does look like me though. It looks pretty good. Wow. This looks really good, Tori Debranski. You did such a good job. Here you go. Now try to erase some of it. Oh, Tori Debranski, you ruined the whiteboard. Now it's stuck like that forever. Is it though? What did you do to it? It's permanent Sharpie. Why would you do this to your whiteboard? Wow, well, Tori, I can't believe you ruined my whiteboard. Uh, I think you could get it off though, right? You've been pranked. There must be a hack to get it off. That's a completely different video. If you guys want to see that hack video, uh, you can click right here. Robbie sucks. <laughs> Yeah, no, everyone's gonna know you suck, Robbie. Wow. You've been pranked! I got you! I don't know how this is a prank on you, though, because... I know, this is your whiteboard. Oh, oh man. I just... Well, it looks like I gotta get another whiteboard now. There you go. You can frame my artwork. Let's hang that right up. Sounds good. Okay, I'll see you later. No, wait, I don't want all this. Goodbye! Stuff. Goodbye! I take out a wireless mouse and controls my friend's laptop at a distance. I guess I will buy this dress. Redhead doesn't understand who picks out the dresses for her. It's just her cunning friend. Okay, guys, so that's Lonnie sitting in his room over there. I have to think of a way to get him out of his room so I can put this USB thing in his computer. <gasps> I have the perfect plan! <gasps> Lonnie! Oh my god, dude! Your car's being stolen outside! No! Oh, heck, and no! Go get it! No. Oh, dude, go! Go get him! Go get him, dude! Oh, he has all of his USB. Oh, one more USB is not taken. Perfect. Good. Okay, we're good to go. Hey, how's it? How's your car? Oh, it's fine. I got it back. I beat them up. Oh. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear your car is acting. Well, it says right okay. here I need to set up my mouse. What's going on? <laughs> now back to my important business. Making YouTube videos. This isn't going according to plan, even. I mean, sometimes it is, and just sometimes it isn't, just seemingly willy-nilly. How? I can't work under these conditions. What in tarnation is going on? Is... You've been pranked! I have an external mouse! I thought I could trust you. Add a red candle to fit the size of an empty lipstick tube. Pair the end of the candle so that it fits into the container. Put it into the tube. Why doesn't this lipstick work? And why is there a wick? Now it makes sense. For this one, we're gonna need a lipstick and a candle, but I couldn't find any of the skinny, long candles at the dollar store, so I just got this one. I can't seem to get the candle out, so uh, uh, let's see if old Mother Earth could help. Always respect nature. Awesome, thanks, Earth. Now we're gonna go ahead and whittle this down. You know, I always enjoyed whittling as a kid. I don't know whose great idea it was to give me a knife, but, <laughs> well, I haven't cut off a finger yet. Knock on wood, guys, knock on wood. Question, what parent is gonna let their kid whittle a candle down with a knife? Okay, I think this might actually work. Take the lipstick out, don't need that anymore. Out with the old, in with the new. What's weird is this kinda actually feels like lipstick. Oh wow, it, it actually went back in. Cut off the extra tip. This was such an easy prank. Hey, Lonnie. You seem to have forgot your lipstick in my room. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this just isn't a fucking craft if I've ever seen one. Is good lipstick? No, it's a crayon, bud. It's a prank! It's a candle! Ew. <laughs> That's gross. I mean, oh man! I was pranked. How could I have been such a fool? Okay, so this one looks pretty easy. All I gotta do is draw a line like that. I think it's more like that. So I gotta draw a line like that. Okay, easy peasy. Then I grab the card, just go whoop, like that. I think that's how they did it. I'm gonna double check. Yep, that's exactly how they did it. Now let's go try it. Lock ourselves out. That seems pretty locked. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh. I lost it. Oh no. Oh shit. Uh, I don't have my keys. 
Can someone let me in? Oh man, what have I got to do? Oh! I sell trade. I tried to break into my own house and it didn't work. Breaking and entering five minute craft. Okay guys, so you're at this party, right? And you're just talking to all your friends. Then uh, all of a sudden you hear a knock at the door. And who is it? I don't know. Well, let's see. Oh my god! What happened? You got cut in half! Oh! So here's how you're gonna do that. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get a shirt. Flip it upside down. Cut a little slit down the back between the shoulder blades. And once that's done, you go on to the pants. All you gotta do is cut slits behind the knees. Right there. Perfect. Then you just go ahead and shove some pillows down in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks legit. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Next, you're gonna want to put some red cloth in there to kind of simulate, you know, like blood and when you get chopped in half, you know, all that stuff. I don't know. Cartilage. Paint a little bit of fake blood on there. Some paper shreds to make it look more like your guts. Put your shirt on. Should look something uh, like this. Then you just uh, add the bottom half. There you go. It looks like you've been cut in half. But not when you look at it from the side. Oh my gosh, and that's how we ended up here. Okay guys, let's try this one. So here's our shirt. We just have to go ahead and cut a hole from here to here. And there we go, shirt, done. And now for the pants. Flip them over, get them right behind the kneecaps. I'm assuming that's like right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Set this guy so it looks like my waist. I need more clothes. Got it, more pants. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna put my red rag. And I don't have any red paper shreds, but you know what? I think uh, I think she'll uh, she'll get the message. Okay, let's put on our shirt. Oh, there we go. Don't need that anymore. I almost hit my monster. Oops. Monster, can you please sponsor me? I feel like uh, it would be a, a great relationship. I'll treat you right. Can we go ahead and get our lower half? Yeah. Oh, I need to put the pants on first. Oops, I guess I just slip into these pants. Oh! Oh, no! I guess it'll just be like, Oh, hi, Tori Dabransky. I have something to tell you. I've been cut in half! Oh, no! This one's crazy. So crazy, I think it just might work. Oh, Tori Dabransky! I have something to tell you. What? Here, let me put this down. I'm vlogging this because it's a very important moment. Okay, Tori, I have something very important to tell you. Yeah? It might, re it might affect our relationship a little bit. Yeah. I've been cut in half! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are, are you okay? I'm, I'm dying! How are your feet still moving? How are your feet? <laughs> oh no, it's not bad! Flesh? That's rude. Tori, I have something to tell you. Are, are you not actually? I'm not actually cut in half! That's good. This whole thing was a prank! I'm glad that you're not cut in half, Robbie. I pranked you! You really got me. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one freaking works. On to the next one. I mean, no more today. Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you later. No, it's okay. I'll see you later. So here's our Skittles. Get those out of here. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our own. Here's some clay. All I have is red clay, so I guess this is gonna have to do. So I guess kinda make it into a circle. Aha, one Skittle down. Two. Yeah, that should be enough. Here's our white paint pen. These things are a little tricky, so uh, just bear with me, guys. Gotta shake it up, apparently. Oh, there we go. These are very sensitive, so just gotta write that S. Oh man, this is so liquidy. S. There we go. Looks like we're all good. I'll just let them dry for a second, and then we'll put them in our box. These look good. Let's put them in here. Awesome. Let's try these out on Tori. Tori Dabransky. Would you like to try some Skittles? Why are they open? I was eating them, and they're just so delicious. <laughs> so they changed the recipe. They taste so much better. Why you got them all over you! <laughs> Why are they all red? I, I Do you not like the red ones? The, I don't like the red. Are you gonna eat it? Why are you squishing it, Tori Dabransky? I don't think these are good, Robbie. Tori, no, they're good. I just bought them. But, but look at them. <laughs> I know, they look so delicious. I don't really know if I want to eat these. I'm gonna to, here, I'll eat one right in front of you. Ready? Okay. Mmm, so good! So good! 
dropped it on the floor. Oh, so uh, <laughs> I must have missed my mouth. Okay, your turn. I hate it when that happens. Your turn. I really don't want to eat this because I I'm just gonna take a guess here and say that these are Skittles. They are. Then why do they squish like this? They're a new recipe. Are these even safe to eat? I have no idea. Yeah, you probably shouldn't eat these. Okay. Don't Tori these. But why, Robbie? These are trash. Why, why can't I eat this? You don't want these. Oh, I don't want them. They're clay. Oh, that it, makes sense. <laughs> well, I guess. No. You got me! Wait, no, you you got me. <laughs> right? I don't know. Give me that Benjamin. Get it. Here you go. I, I make gifts. Oh my god. You ruined my Skittles! This would have been so gross what if are I you, actually ate that. What are you doing? You ruined my Skittles! Wow, Tori the Bradski. Here's the box. Ugh, gross. Where did the actual Skittles go, though? Well, I'll see you later! Oh, what Redhead has a revenge prank. She's taped the blue-eyed girl's phone to her notebook. Now, she will have a hard time to find it. The blue-eyed girl hears her phone ring, but doesn't understand where the sound comes from. How did it get here? Lonnie, someone's trying to steal your car again! Not again, you dirty thief! I can't believe you fell for it! <laughs> okay, guys, we have the tape, we have his phone. Let's do this. Just like that. Right there. It looks perfect. I don't think Lonnie will ever suspect it. What are you doing here? I would have never suspected to find you here. Oh, hey, Lonnie. How's it going? Did you get the guy trying to steal your car again? Yeah, I beat him up again. Oh, wow. That's that's great. Okay, well, I, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay, you left your big roll of tape. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's there. You can take it everywhere you go, I think. I do. Oh, no, Lonnie. Where's your phone? Where is it going? Wherever could your phone be? It was probably stolen like everything else I love. <laughs> Robbie. What? You were the thief the whole time. I did never do anything! I'm Snowy! I've been spraying! My phone's right there! How did he get there? I don't know! Alright, I believe you. Ah, you've been pranked, Lonnie! Ah, why did I believe you? So close. Naughty, there was a camera right here! I pranked you! What a fool I continue to be! What? Also, also guess what, Lonnie? There also was a camera right there! How did I miss that? Oh, oh. I got you! You got him! You were pranked, boy. <laughs> Doing important stuff back here. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that Lonnie fell for that again. There's no way he could fall for it a third time. <laughs> Lonnie, did you just tape yourself to the fucking chair? It's kind of a question to that dude. What do I look like a dumb? Do you, what does that look like? Of course I did. Why did you tape yourself to the chair? You pranked yourself. <laughs> I don't even need you anymore. You're out of the equation. I don't need to do any work anymore. This whole channel is just gonna be Lonnie pranking himself. Look at this guy. He can't even escape. I'm so funny. Just wait till I get out of here. <laughs> How is Lonnie gonna get it out of this one? Oh, he already did. What the anime is that? Cowboy Bebop? Wow, that was so <laughs> suspenseful. It's like David Bowie used to, just like David Blaine. <laughs> I'm feeling plain. Cut out a knife using a template from a book board. Make a slanting cut across the middle of the blade. Wrap it with a few layers of foil. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the edges. Wrap a part of the blade on the handle with foil. Make a knife handle from soft clay. Wrap up the cardboard with it. Double-sided tape to the cross cut of the blade. Activate a broken screen app. We're gonna start off with our cardboard, get our knife, draw the outline of the knife. This is gonna turn out perfect. And my, my marker's dead. This looks like exactly what we need. Then we gotta cut out our outline. Oh yeah, I can't tell the difference at all. Well, looks like I don't need this anymore. So now we're gonna get our tin foil and wrap it around this, I guess. You guys ever hear of the tin foil ball challenge? Uh, this is like the same thing. Oh, I forgot the hot glue. Hopefully this keeps it all together. It's pretty promising. It's, it's, it's like, oh, hot glue. Wrap that tip. This looks like a perfect knife. Now we gotta add the handle. They said to use some clay to make it look like a good handle. This is the most handle looking handle I've ever seen. I don't know how Lonnie's ever not gonna believe that this isn't a knife. I can definitely see this being a knife. This is a pretty good knife if you ask me. Now we have to cut it in half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my phone to throw Lonnie off. That looks like it'll work. I'm holding a phone that has a phone screen. I could almost just do this. I don't even have to install this app. Let's take our double-sided tape. We just tape it on just like that. Look at, oh, nope. Maybe if I just use some regular tape to hold it on, that'll work. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now for the other side. How am I supposed to tape this? Okay. 
Oh no. And now we have the thumbnail. Time to test this out on Lonnie. Lonnie, Lonnie! I have a confession. I was running with the knife and I tripped and I stabbed your phone. Why did you have my phone? It's totally stabbed, it's totally real. Why did you? I'm convinced. There's Pokemon Go on there and everything. Robbie, this is not my phone. Uh, oh, uh, this is, oh, I mean, I tripped it on my phone. That sucks, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck, he's catching on me. I, I tripped on my, my phone. You sure did. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, it's going great! I got you a gift! Here, put your hand inside and grab! What is this? Uh, what the heck? What the heck is it? <gasps> Brains? What? Uh, but how did she do it? Well, all you gotta do is get a jar, get some cauliflower, mix a little bit of food dye inside of water, and then put it inside your jar! Boom! It's Brains! <laughs> oh, that's disgusting! That's disgusting! Cauliflower? It's surely in the lowest tier of vegetables. So I'm pretty sure all the stuff that I need for this one is actually downstairs in the kitchen, but Tori's down there right now, so I have to kind of not be suspicious. Oh, hey Tori Dabransky. Hi. Don't mind me, I am just uh, getting a good healthy snack. Well, I'll see you later. So I don't have any just cauliflower, uh, so I'm just gonna have to pick it out of this bag of vegetables. Wow, there's a lot of cauliflower in here. Okay, yeah, that should be, yeah, that should be enough. Next, we go ahead and get our jar. Toss them in there. Oh, perfect. And a little bit of red food dye. Shake it up. Oh my God! Brains! Dude, this looks pretty legit. Okay, now let's test this one out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Oh, hello. Hey, I ha I got something for you. Yeah? I don't know if you can handle it. Yeah. Are you ready for it? I think I am. <laughs> I'm giving you brains! Wow, this is cool. I like it. Are you calling me stupid, Robbie? No, that wasn't the intent. The Tori, these are human brains. I like it. I like how they're little cauliflower. No, that's not cauliflower. Tori, that's oh. not cauliflower. That's, that's human brains. <laughs> Whose brains is it then? I. Is uh, it yours? <laughs> yeah. You got your own brains. These are my. Very important because they're my brains. <laughs> it's your brain. The brains look a lot like a uh, cauliflower. It's rock. not cauliflower. Stop saying that. I like it. We could put it with all of our spooky things as decoration. I have a confession. What? Um, is it not brains? Is it cauliflower and some pink water? Dang, you got what? Tori Dabransky! <laughs> been pranked. Wow, I'm so surprised. I would never have guessed that this was cauliflower and some pink water. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. She kind of saw through our disguise. I know you. You were just playing along. I see you, Tori Dabransky. Enjoy your brain uh, jar. See you later. Wow, looks pretty good. <laughs> It's a jar of brains. <gasps> you should have put it in there. That would look so cool. And then you can like, drink your brain juice. Just put the brains in here. You just want some cauliflower juice? That sounds disgusting. Okay. So bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't, sorry, I need a towel. I can't find it. There's paper ones in here. Oh, my eyes. Are you okay? There's paper ones right in front of me. Sometimes I feel like leaving everything behind and just sinking my phone. This is what the blue eyed girl has done. Redhead sees the phone in water. Hurry up, it's sinking. But the device turns out to be soap. So here's our phone case. Here's our phone printout. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out really quick. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Sweet, looks good. Then we need to tape these holes shut. You know what, I don't trust this tape. That's why I'm breaking out my Gorilla Tape. Okay, there we go. That looks a lot more sturdy. Then I gotta do these holes. 
There we go. That's way better. Next side, just like that. Okay, then we put this face down, just like that. Okay, now to melt the soap base. Okay, I will see you when you're melted. Okay, you're looking pretty boiled. Uh, let's go. Oh, I should probably turn off the stove first. Oops. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this in and hope it doesn't get all over everything. Okay, yeah, it looks like we have the perfect amount. Okay, I will see you guys when this is all dry. This is looking pretty solidified. Uh, let's try and get this thing out without breaking it. Okay, not bad. Oh my gosh, this might be harder than I thought. Okay, come on. Please, 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 please don't break. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. You can do it. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Not bad. Okay, now let's cut off some of the edges. Other side. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Wow. Okay, let's go try this out. Okay, guys, so now we're in Lonnie's bathroom, so I have to be really quiet. So I have my fake phone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it in the sink and then start calling Lonnie and tell him that I dropped my phone and ask him to help and see how he reacts. I also have this GoPro, so we have some extra angles on this as well. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't think Lonnie will ever suspect this. One. Two and... Oh, Lonnie, I have dropped my phone in your sink. I need your help. Lonnie, I dropped my phone in the sink. What do I do? <laughs> You're a freaking genius. <laughs> Look at my phone. Do you think it is ruined? Did I know you had an iPhone? You can print. It's soap. Look how clean I'm getting with this soap. Dude, I knew the new iPhone XR wasn't that cool, but come on now. That's <laughs> does not do that. It does do that. Steve. See? The iPhone XR now helps you clean yourself. Steve Jobs popped out of everything. Well, I guess we'd say it works. Warning tape and a wax crayon. Wrap all furniture in the room and take away the toy. Redhead gets into the room. Oh no, my teddy bear. Redhead rushes up to the teddy bear body outline. Who could do this? Life is so cruel. I will take revenge for you, baby. So for this one, instead of pretending that my girlfriend's teddy bear got stolen, I'm pretending her cat got stolen. This is gonna be the best prank ever against Tori. You ready for this, Thomas? You're gonna help me with this. So I need you to lay down and I'm just gonna outline you with tape. No, Thomas, you need to come back. Now lay down, right here, just lay down. I just need to put tape around you. We need this to prank Tori. Oh, I was so close. Can you stay there like that? But Thomas, I'm not doing anything weird, Thomas. Oh, he moved again. I'm just gonna do what the closest I can to an outline of Thomas. Okay, I'm all done. Do you guys wanna see? And here it is in all of its glory. So I don't actually have any regular caution tape, but I do have this caution construction tape. <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap this all around my room and make it look like Thomas has been murdered. You're just hiding underneath the desk, aren't you, buddy? You look like you hate me. This is a crime scene, everyone. Don't enter this caution area. Tori Dabransky. Tori Dabransky. I have some awful news. What happened? Tori, this is serious. Come look, Tori Dabransky, be very careful. This is, is a crime scene, okay? Robbie, you Tori, what? This is serious! Your cat's missing! You have way too much time on your hands, Robbie. Thomas is missing! That's his outline! Where did he go? No, he's... he's dead. He's dead? Why are you laughing? This is serious! Construction area. What are you constructing, Robbie? I'm not constructing... The, the police put that here. Thomas, come here! Shh. I think we'll bring back your kitty. Except for maybe yeah. doing that. Stop it. But he's right there. I don't... He, he's dead. <laughs> they moved the body. <laughs> You've been pranked. Your cat's not dead. Oh, what? My cat's not dead. Oh, you, you got me so good. I, I really thought he was missing. <laughs> Okay, so here are our donuts. Haha! -ha. So first I'm supposed to make a little hole in this. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my popsicle stick. Just put that in there. And just kind of do that. Aha! Yeah, that should work. And I actually hate the smell of mayonnaise, so I'm gonna go ahead and use whipped cream instead. So I'm just gonna put that in. Whoa! Some came out of it. Ooh, that's some good whipped cream. Mm. Some came out of the middle hole, so I just gotta get that out of there. Get out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! I got you a donut because I love you. Oh, thank you. There's nothing in it, trust me. What's There's that? nothing bad. It's just frosting. Don't worry about it. I really don't like little donuts, though. It's, it's okay. It's more glazed. 
a big old bite, Tori. <laughs> what? Take a big old. Take a big old bite, Tori. What is it? It's definitely not mayonnaise. mayonnaise. It's not mayonnaise. Because though. I hate mayonnaise. I was supposed to use mayonnaise, but I used whipped cream instead. Oh, that's a lot nicer. Okay. Oh no! You got you got whipped cream in your mouth. You've been pranked. Oh no. Oh no! It got all inside the hole again. That's not bad. Well, I guess we can say this one works. I'm good. We can have it. I'll see you I later. Oh, goodbye. I love you. Here's our glue, here's our bag. Let's go ahead and open this up. Put this in here a little bit. Yeah, that should work. Then we get our mustard. We'll just kind of put that in there. Okay, that should do it. Now we put the cap back on, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut all the excess off. Well, that looks about as good as we're gonna get it. Let's test this out on Tori. Tori Nebraska, I got you some glue so that you can make your cotton swab Eiffel Tower like you've been wanting to make. Thank you. Now you can get started. Oh no. Oh no. Tori, what's wrong with oh, your glue? Oh no, I don't know. What did you do to your glue? What did you do to this poor glue? Like I pranked you, it's mustard. You just like drink it then? I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> it was very liquidy when I put it in there. I know, I don't really know if I want to drink it. I got you, I pranked you. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. I got, I really gotta go. Okay, no, goodbye. Don't no, leave me I'll see you later. later. I'll leave you with your mustard, goodbye. My friend is going to leave. I will sneak a little goodbye prank in her backpack. Once Redhead leaves, I turn on a loud sound of explosion. Poor Redhead, no more prank wars from now on. Okay guys, so first we need to put this Bluetooth speaker in this backpack, because this is Lonnie's backpack. I can't believe that actually worked last time. I wonder if it'll work a third time. Oh my god, Lonnie! Someone stole your car again! What are we gonna do? I'm just gonna call the cops this time. No, Lonnie! Oh, yeah. no, no, it's don't gonna reason. be a long trip. Bring your backpack! I'll bring no, my backpack! Be free! For no reason! I'll freaking get you, you hoodlum. Swear to. Lonnie, guess what? You've been pranked! I pranked you! You have been pranked! Good one, dude. I can't see you now. Anywhere. You're right! I was pranked. That's all. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works! Can you drive me to the hospital? <laughs> Cut the bristles off an old toothbrush. Cut a jaw-shaped gummy in half and attach the half of the gummy teeth to the toothbrush using edible glue. It must be a special limited collection for vampires. So I'm gonna be honest, guys. I went to Walmart. I went to the dollar store. I couldn't find any gummy teeth. How? It was just Halloween. So I guess I'm gonna have to find another way to do this. Tora Bransky, I have another special request for you. What is it? I need you to punch me in the face. Oh, I gladly do that. Okay, Tori, I'm ready. Thank you, cute girl, for helping me with this. You're welcome. Okay, so we got our teeth, and we got our toothbrush. Oh no, this is gonna be so messy. Oh no. They made it look so easy. I don't even know if this is worth a joke. This looks disgusting. Break out our hot glue gun. Oh yeah, that definitely looks disgusting. Okay guys, so now that we have our nightmare fuel, it's time to test it out on Lonnie. <laughs> Do you feel like you need to brush your teeth? After that Crayola crayon lipstick, I'm down. Hey Lonnie, does anything seem weird about your toothbrush? There are a little bit of hairs on top of the four molars I keep on there for some reason. <laughs> You've been pranked! It's literally a tooth brush! Son of a bitch, that's great. Come on. So this one looks pretty good. But the first thing I'm gonna need is the intern's phone. Okay guys, so the intern's been here for about two weeks and uh, I actually memorized his bathroom pattern. So he goes to the bathroom every single day at exactly 5.52 p.m. and it's currently 5.51 p.m. So he should be coming out any minute. So we got his phone, and I'm actually going to take it out of the phone case, and then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with my already broken S10. You know what? Maybe we should break it a little bit more. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Next, we're gonna need a screw. Here we go. Yeah, that ought to do. Or should I say, that ought to screw. Oh, that was a bad joke. Boopity boop. Now that we have our cut up screw, go ahead and just hot glue it right to the phone. Oh yes, looking good. It also said to get shards of glass. I guess I could just use this top from a Ferrero Rocher that I got. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's pretty 
pretty legit to me. Now I just put on the case, do the other side. Yeah, I definitely think that the intern will fall for this one. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Hey Mike, how's it going? Hey, dude, actually, before you talk to me, have you seen my phone? Oh, Cause I I've been was... looking all over for it. I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Why? So, so you seem like you've been really homesick lately, and uh, I feel like your phone has been nothing but a distraction, cause you've been, you know, talking to your friends and your family. Yeah, you know, they're my friends and family. So I destroyed your phone! Well, that is the most stupidest thing you've ever done. Dude, dude why'd you take it? Just break it! That's so messed up! <laughs> Is gonna pay for this? <laughs> Dude, wait a sec. This isn't my phone. No, that's totally your phone. Wait, this isn't my phone. My phone's white. Like, I have a confession. What? What? You've been pranked! I, I, I've been pranked. You've been pranked, been pranked bro. Whatever. Can you just leave? Dude, I don't even care about my phone. I don't even know where it's at anymore. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Okay guys, so Chris is currently in the bath, and unfortunately due to supply and demand, I couldn't get myself a fake hand in time. But, I do have a bunch of fake tongues. Ooh. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill my tongue to my desk, and then I'm just gonna start yelling, and we're gonna see his reaction. This is gonna be great. Let's do this. Ah! Here we go. Put our tongue right here. Get our screw. Put that through right there. Here we go. Oh no, my tongue, it's spinning! Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, yes! Oh, okay guys, what do you think? Yeah, I think this is gonna work really good. Let's test it out on Chris. Okay guys, you ready? Jump through the portal for this? He'll be back. <laughs> Simply put your glue on a coin like this and stick it to any surface you like. Ooh, look, some money. I can't pick it up. Is this thing stuck to the table or something? What the heck? Super glue, baby. Okay guys, so this looks like a good spot. Here's our glue, here's our coin. All we gotta do, put a few drops on this bad boy. Yeah! That's a lot. Okay, we're just gonna go and stick it down. Ah. Oh my god, there's so much super glue around this now. Dude, that is never gonna come off. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's really on there. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let this set for a little bit, and then we're gonna try this on Chris. Hey Chris, what the heck are you doing? Um, uh, just so, uh, you know, exercise. Dude, get off that thing. Let's go outside and get some real exercise. We're going on a freaking walk. Okay. See, Chris, isn't this so much better? Yeah, it's great, dude. Anyway, let's walk. Whoa, Chris! What's that? Whoa. That's free money, dude. You should take it. Alright, get a gumball or something. It's kind of sticky, dude. There's something on this. I think it's glued to the concrete. You've been pranked! I super glued it to the floor! <laughs> it's, oh, no. not, it's not dry. <laughs> My fingers are stuck together to feel that. You've been double pranked! Kids don't do this at home. This is probably really dangerous. Oh my gosh! Oh. Dude! <laughs> no, my fingers stuck to yours! Man. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! So here's our bag of Doritos. First we gotta take all these chips out. We don't need these anymore. And we're gonna go ahead and get our gummy worms. We're just gonna put all these bad boys in the Doritos. Oh yeah, perfect. Tor Nebraska will never tell the difference. Yeah, that should be enough. Now let's go ahead and seal this up with our parchment paper. Okay, get our parchment paper, kinda line it up like that, put it over. Then we get our flat iron, and we kinda just do this. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna work. Oh no, it melts in the bag. I hope she doesn't notice. Well, let's test this bad boy out on Tori. Tori Dabransky, you know how you said you wanted Doritos earlier? Heck yeah. Well, here's some Doritos. Aw, oh, thank you. I know you wanted them. They're so heavy and they're squishy. <laughs> it's a new kind of Doritos. Well, the package must have gotten uh, uh, ruined in packaging. In a fire? Oh. These don't look like Doritos. <laughs> I got you! You can pray! Thank you. I'm just kidding, Tori Bransky. Here's the real Doritos. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll see you later with my next not pray.
pranks. That I won't, I, I'll totally not be pranking you with, the, with. No more pranks today. Cut off the bottom of a toothpaste tube and take out the paste. Clean the tube and fill it with cream. Wrap the cut with parchment paper and seal it using an iron. Oops, this paste tastes like milk. Okay, so we got our toothpaste. Snip that. There's so much toothpaste in here. This feels so wasteful. I wonder if I blow on this end, if it'll start coming out. <laughs> oh, holy shit, it worked. I'm a family channel now. Now we gotta fill this hole with cream. Whoa. Mmm, <laughs> minty. I think I just ate a bristle from earlier. Now I gotta go ahead and fill this up with glue. And, uh, I think that's so as good as we're gonna get. Well, I don't have another toothbrush, so I guess we're committing to this. I got it. I can't have dirty teeth all day. Oh, okay. This looks normal. <laughs> Nothing wrong here. You've been pranked! I put whipped cream in it! No, are you actually gonna- No, don't do that! Don't, that's disgusting! How about we just hang this up on our wall? I'll hang it right in your bathroom for you. How does that sound? It honestly makes me want to be sick. <laughs> So the first thing I'm gonna need are some pins. Go bitty boo. Yes. Ah, oh, perfect. Grab our hot glue gun. We have to wait for it to heat up. 15 minutes later. Okay, so this is all heated up, but I actually decided to go with my original glue gun. You know, the one that this all started with. I'm sorry, glue gun. I'll never leave you again. Uh, 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 uh. Good times, good times. Anyway, don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these out. Yeah, like four should do. Then we go ahead and break out the wire cutters. It went flying everywhere. So we got those cut up. Then we get some hot glue. Dab it on there. And we stick it right on my finger. It's as easy as that. Get a few more. Then we do the back of my finger. Same thing. Ah, that's actually really hot. So I guess I'll put it on the needle first. Let it cool down just ever so slightly. And just stick it on there. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty uh, decent, I guess. Then we're gonna get some fake blood. I only need the tiniest amount. There we go. Get a little bit of blood. Dab it right on the glue to kind of hide it a little bit. Anyway, let's test this out on the intern. How the heck do I open this very carefully? Oh my gosh. Mike! Oh my god, Mike! Mike! Oh, dude, I saw my finger did you, did like four times okay. it's gonna be with like a pin. Oh my god, dude. Why? Oh my god, I don't did know how I did it the first time, but I did three. Oh my god, bro. Oh. God! What is this? What is this? what happened? It's a it's a pin. Is it real? What are we gonna do? Mike, calm down. What are we gonna do? Dude, calm down! It's just a prank! Dude! You've been pranked! What do you mean? What do you mean? Dude, you're are you not hurt? It was a prank the entire time! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Well, I'll see you later. Okay guys, so I actually did this one to Chris before and he really freaking fell for it. Literally. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think he's gonna fall for it again. So, instead of taping his shoes to the floor, I'm gonna go ahead and screw them to the floor. And in addition to that, I'm gonna put mouse traps inside them so he can't get out. <laughs> now let's do this. Yeah, it's perfect. This looks like a pretty good spot. Here we go. Oh no, the screws aren't long enough. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And another. Yes! Yeah! These are solid! Now to add the mouse traps. Oh man, I hope I don't freaking break my finger doing this. Man, this is so scary. There we go. There's one. Gotta do this really carefully. Real careful. Oh gosh. There we go. Now let's try this out on Chris. Oh hey, Jordan! Uh, hey dude, so I got you some cool shoes to match your cool pink shirt. Really? Uh, yeah, they're pink. All you gotta do is slide them on. They're right there. You don't even have to. Yeah, yeah, dude, just just try them on. Go for it. Oh, 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 oh my God, what happened? Oh, I can got you. You put a mouse trap in my shoe and I and screwed the shoes down so you couldn't get out. Why would you do this? You've been freaking pranked, dude. Dang, dude. Prank. Is there another one in the other one? No! I'm not. Ah, ah, you said there wasn't one in that one! Oh, double ah, you You've been freaking double pranked! I'm just gonna take these shoes and leave, dude. You really? I screwed them down! So you couldn't escape the mousetrap! You've been triple pranked! I'm out of here! I can't believe it. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works! Okay guys, so 
here's our screen protector. Now all we gotta do is uh, just mess it up real quick. Uh, we're close. Yes, that should do perfectly. Okay, now time to put this bad boy on Chris's phone. Now I have to sneak in really quietly so he doesn't hear me. Uh, what you what you up to? Uh, just playing some Super Smash. What's up? Uh, nothing much. Just smashing your phone, dude. What? Dude, what the heck? Oh my god, dude! Did you I really smash? This, is, this is really my phone. This is you really smashed my phone. I your freaking phone. You went too far. You went too far. Is that supposed to really? Really smash the phone? Why? Why would you smash it? Chris, I have something to tell you. What? It's a freaking prank, bro. That's a screen protector. You've been freaking pranked! Oh. Dude, I got you! Oh god, oh no, 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 For this, you'll need a lint roller and a roll of toilet paper to put together like this. You'll need a blow dryer. Here's your toilet paper. Coming in hot, Amy. I hope you have another roll waiting. There we go. Tori's glasses. Here's our lock. Let's go ahead and put these on here. Gotta get the keys off first. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and open that up. Ah, perfect. Now we're gonna lock up the glasses. This is perfect. She'll never be able to use her glasses now. Let's go ahead and test this one out on Tori. Tori, I found your missing glasses. I know you've been looking all over for these. Oh no. Wait, oh, you un you undid it. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, You're supposed to put it around this thing. Oh, me. I, uh, I got you. you. You've been, you've been praying. I, oh, there go. Oh. So here's our ice cold refreshing Coca Cola in a mini size. Here's my sewing kit. Boop -a -boop. And luckily, I already have a needle that's been threaded already. Let's go ahead and break out our Mentos. And we just stick that right in there. Yes. I'm gonna need some pliers. That is perfect. Open up our Coke. <gasps> no! There we go. Now, carefully put that right over the Coke bottle. Put on the cap. Cut off the extra string. And we're all ready to go! Now let's test this out on the intern. Oh, hey, Mike. Oh, hey, Robbie. How's it going, buddy? I'm just debating whether I want some pizza rolls or not. Would you like an ice cold, refreshing Coca Cola to go with your pizza rolls? Yeah, it's a little bit awesome. Here you go, have it. It's a, it's a mini size. Perfect serving size, in my opinion. Yeah. Mike, you're getting it everywhere. What are you doing? I'm drinking some Coca Cola. You just got it all. You're getting it all over the floor. You've never drank Coca Cola before, Robbie? Stop making messes in my house. What the fuck? How it's a, dare you? It's free Coca-Cola. Can't argue with that. You know, Mike, I, this was actually a prank on you, but I think you're actually pranking me. I just got free Coca-Cola, and this is my day off, so you're cleaning that up. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so I managed to get Chris's favorite juice. Minute Maid Berry Punch. Not sponsored by the way, this is just his favorite. So we're just gonna go ahead and take that cap off. Then we get our hot sauce. And then we just, uh, you know, put it on that, uh, on the rim of it. Yes, he will never suspect it. Perfect. Now let's try this out. Oh, Air Jordan! Hi. Right. 
Hey, how you doing, man? Good, dude. What's up? Uh, so, I actually, I got you your favorite juice uh, to make up for all these mean pranks I've been oh, doing. this is my favorite juice. Yeah, I, I know. Like, I, I just thought, you know. Thank you. No problem, dude. That's all yours. You can drink the straight out of the tap. Yeah, go for it. It's open already. Yeah, oh, uh, sorry. I, I had a little bit. Uh, <laughs> how can you blame me? It's really good juice. Yeah, I am thirsty, so. Dude. Is your mouth on fire? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh. You've been freaking pranked, bro! Oh man! Oh, you ruined the whole thing of juice too. I, I mean, I just, I just put it on the, I just put it on the rim. Like it was just a rim, dude. It wasn't even that much hot sauce. You really over exaggerated here. Are you okay? <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Oh man, I really gotta clean out my car. Okay, so first we gotta set up our fishing pole. Real easy. Flip that. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, so here's his wallet. And we just take the string that you can't really see. I mean, you gotta see it. There it is. We're just gonna go ahead and tie it around. Cut off the access. Give it a little tug. Perfect. Okay, let's go try this out on Chris. Okay, guys, Chris is sleeping right there. We're gonna go ahead and put it right here. He'll never suspect a thing. Okay, guys. So we got this air horn to wake him up. Let's do this. One, two, three, go. Chris, I'm so glad that you came over. Mm -hmm. So here's our water bottle. Here's our scissors. Now let's go ahead and heat up these scissors a little bit. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now we're just gonna poke a little hole in the bottle right there. Oh, come on. I just need, a okay, aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, it worked. Now let's go ahead and try this one out on Tori. Tori Nebraska, Tori Nebraska. I have another very special treat for you. I know that you love water, so I got you this water bottle. Aren't I just the best boyfriend ever? I noticed that you didn't have a drink. Ah, oh, thank you, you're right. Thanks, Robbie. Wait, nothing happened. That's delicious. Tori, you're not drinking it right. You have to drink it like this. <laughs> when you drink water, Robbie. Oh, oh, you got it all over you. Oh my God, Tori. You've been praying. I got you. There's a little hole in it. I stand I never thought you would suspect that one, did you? No, I'm like, you totally got me with this one. Here you go. Well, you're welcome. I'll see you later. Yeah. No, that's for you. Goodbye. I'm taking Benji with me. So first things first, I'm going to need a bottle. Yeah, this ought to do. Just go ahead and dump out that flower. Perfect. Grab some fishing wire. And last but not least, we're going to need a pencil. Actually, a straw should do just fine. So we grab our straw and our fishing line. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tape the fishing line onto the straw. Whoop. Yeah, pretty easy. And stick that right in there. Oh no, my straw is stuck inside my bottle. Then we pull this fishing line and... Wow! It comes right so we just grab it. I'm just gonna grab some tape. Just tape it right on me. It's pretty unsuspicious. I'll just be like, Oh my god, it's floating! Will it work on the intern? We're about to find out. Okay guys, so I actually made the intern sign a contract that whenever I press this button, he has to come no matter what he's doing. So here we go. Oh my god, guys, it's working. He's coming. Robbie, is everything okay? Yeah, dude, okay. I'm I, okay, I have a very important uh, job. I hope it's important. I was in the shower. <laughs> You were in the shower? Well, I need a peaceful bath once in a while. Dang! Yeah. This actually works so good. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, the, your important task is I need to show you this magic trick. Better be a good one, because, you know. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to make this straw inside of here float. <laughs> Was it a good trick? Did you not like it? A, a for effort. A for effort, Robbie. 
A for effort, Robbie. Guys, I can't believe he actually fell for that one. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, 100% works. Some strong card paper. Then we get our knife. Outline it really quick. There we go. Perfect. Well, we don't need this anymore. Go ahead and cut our knife out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then it said to spray it with some metallic finish. I'm gonna go ahead and do this outside, actually. Here we go. Now we flip it over. Oh man, this looks like it's one expensive knife. Okay, our metallic paint is now dry. Then we get our foam for the handle and cut out our little handle pieces. Ah, oh, yes. Not bad. That should do for half of it. And the other side. Yeah, these look pretty good. Put these to the handle, just like that. Yes. Cut these down. Ah, oh, yes, perfect. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my white paint pen. And do the three white dots. Flip it over. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now to glue it to our knife. Oh, yes, this looks super legit. I don't think that Chris will ever know. Okay, now it's time to cut this bad boy in half. Oh, my beautiful creation, no! This is one of those cases where you must destroy in order to create. Put down some parchment paper, and now we're just going to hot glue all around it, just like this. And boobity boop. Looks good. Now I just have to hold it like this forever. <laughs> I like, there's no good way to do this. Maybe like that. Good enough. So that's like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the blade part. Just go ahead and stick that right in, just like that. Oh no. Okay, now I just have to wait for these puppies to cool down. Okay, so these should be, oh no. Oh, oh no. I mean, it came off pretty clean. That's not, that's not too bad, but this is gonna be wobbling a lot. Oh no. So now I guess I just have to glue it to my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it first with some eyelash glue. This has worked for me before, but it's not the best. If this doesn't work, I'll use nail glue, which doesn't come off. So that's kind of a last resort. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do this one to the bottom. That way it's hanging instead. Just kinda glob that on there. Yeah. Just like that. And now, I guess I just stick it on. Boom! Oh boy. Oh, that's already kind of sticking. Oh, not bad! Just gotta keep my hand straight and do the other one. Yes! And stick that one to the top. Just like that. Oh, no! I don't think that it's even. Oh, no. <gasps> <laughs> it's so crooked. I didn't think of this. Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, that's almost, I wouldn't say believable. You know what? Yeah, this is plenty believable. I, I totally believe this. Now I just have to wait for this to dry. This might take a second. Oh, man. Okay, so it's about dry, and it's uh, actually sticking on my hand pretty decently. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our fake blood. This is actually just uh, fabric paint, so. Yes! Spread that on there. Oh, yeah. This definitely looks real. This is the most real blood I've ever seen. I definitely think Chris is gonna fall for this one. This looks pretty good. Now let's try it out on Chris. Okay, guys, let's do this. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Eventually. Oh! oh my god, Chris! Dude, I, I stabbed my hand! I stabbed my hand! Oh, oh my god! Chris! It's sick, dude. I'm gonna be sick. There's a total accident. Can you take, help me take it out? It's crooked. You've been freaking prank! I almost threw up over this. This I, was, it was fake, see? It's a fake knife! I almost threw up over this. You've been pranked! Why did you gotta use the blood? Oh, oh it's so wet. I got you! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works! <laughs> So this one looks fun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a cup. Then I'm gonna cut a little hole in the bottom. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get a straw. Put that in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue gun and kinda just seal up the bottom. Looks good. Gonna go ahead and let that sit for a sec. Okay, now that the hot glue is cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and get a box. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole right here. Boop. Does it straw fit? It just barely fits. I feel like I'm gonna need to make it a little bigger. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue all around it. Hot glue the bottom. 
Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool off for a sec. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and attach a straw to this little straw right here. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Here we go. Just gonna fill. Oh. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. I almost pranked myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this cup up and just hope that my hot glue seal holds. I'm really hoping that I don't get coke everywhere. And here we go. Is it leaking? I think we are good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my cup. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> then I have to somehow slip this Coke bottle into the straw without messing everything up. Oh man, I'm just hoping I don't spill. Oh my gosh. Okay, not sure how I'm gonna do this one. Go, just gotta be real careful. Here we go. Ha ha, I did it. Okay, put mine on top. Okay, let's go and try this out on Chris. Hey, Chris! Hey, what's up? I have a challenge for you. Oh, all right. What's up here? Hey, Chris, so the name of the game is who can drink uh, the cup of Coke the fastest? Really? Yes. Okay. You ready? One, Round one. two, three, Fight. go! Chris, you gotta hurry up! Dude, what the heck? You gotta hurry up! You still have all that Coke left! Stop. Mine's not going down. You bet! <laughs> Dude! I pranked you! Bro! That's a really good one. I got you. You got me. That's a good one. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Oh, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so here's our coffee cup. Let's just go ahead and cut out the bottom really quick. There we go. Sick. Looks good. Now we add our bag. Put that in there. Aha. Add our water. That should do it. Put the lid back on. Now all we gotta do is remove the extra bag. Let's just break out our scissors. Cut the extra off. Aha. Okay, now let's go ahead and try this out on Tori. A Tori Dabransky. Oh, hello. Here's a coffee that you asked for. Oh, thank you, Robbie. Aren't I just the best boyfriend ever? This guy just tastes like water. Oh, they must have got your order wrong. You should look at it. <laughs> okay. You got water everywhere. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with you, Tori Dabransky? I don't know. Why, why did you give this? You've been pranked. Starbucks didn't do that. I did it. This was a prank. Oh, thank you. You still think I'm the best boyfriend ever? <laughs> Are you okay? Well, guys, I guess we can say that this prank works. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy. And my baseball bat. What are you gonna do with this? Go to Mike's computer. Go to YouTube. Oh, looks like he was watching my channel. And he's even subscribed. I'm surprised he's still subscribed after all these mean pranks I've been doing. You guys should definitely hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. And we're just gonna go ahead and put broken screen. Full screen it. Oh, -ho! awesome. Okay guys, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, dude, Mike, dude, I'm so sorry. I, you me and Toby were playing some baseball in your office, and I actually played baseball with a tennis ball. Look, I I accidentally hit him into your TV. That's company property. I know. Well, I could get in. Look, I was just practicing my baseball. I was expecting to pay for that. We're really sorry. I don't care. I'm going to get in trouble. My boss is going to fire me when he finds me. Mike, I am your boss. Oh. Also, Mike, I have a confession. Are you in love with me? No! This was a prank the whole time! Oh, well, if it... Let's check it out! It was a YouTube video! Oh, you know, if it wasn't a prank, would you still buy me a new one, though? Uh, uh, uh I mean, company I, property, right? I, I gotta, uh, uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this oh. one works! Are you, are you actually breaking the computer? Company property, Robbie! Okay guys, so Hair Jordan is sleeping downstairs and I got this whole box of makeup here that I can put on. Let's do this. <laughs> I got our makeup. Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah. An crescent on his face. This looks good. A good moon. Then we're gonna give him some lipstick. Yes. Oh my god, he almost woke up. Oh, but we should also give him Joker scars. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'm being too loud. Now let's give him a little bit of eyeshadow. Yes. Yes. 
I don't know if you're supposed to put eyeshadow on the bottom of the eye. Oh, I got some glitter eyeshadow. Yes. And then maybe a little bit more lipstick on the nose. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's time to wake him up. Okay, let's do this. I'm not going anywhere. Dude, yeah, you gotta go. I really have to go. Come on, man. I already did your makeup. It looks what great. I already about? did it. I already did your makeup. What are you talking about? It looks really good. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Dude, go check it out. You don't even need to do anything. You're already. What am I looking for? You're just good. Come here, look. You're fine. Dude. Do you like it? Dude. Do you are like you that turned out? Is this glitter? Is it good? Dude, what's it good? Why did you put glitter on it? Why? Dude, seriously? Oh god, oh, are you for real? Oh, no. Are you for real, dude? Oh, Why would you put it's glitter on it? You've been pranked! You've been fucking pranked, dude! No, no, you don't know when to stop. You don't know when to stop. Chris, I'm sorry! You don't know when to stop. Chris, no! Uh, Chris! Now I gotta wash Chris. this off. What? I gotta wash this That's off. No. I know. Chris. There's too much. There's too much on me, and I'm gonna wash you too. What? If this no. dish Chris, stop. No. That's right, that's right. Because I can't handle having this on my face. You've been freaking great. Get the glitter off of me. I hate glitter. I can't handle glitter. Flip off. Is it off? Yeah, dude, it's completely off. Are you sure? Stop, I did your makeup special for your date. No, I don't have a date. I don't do that. I don't leave the house. Oh, I got it in my mouth. I got soap in my mouth. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say that this one freaking works. Woo! <laughs> For this, you'll need a remote and some tape. All you need to do is put some double-sided tape on the buttons and stick the whole thing underneath the glass table. <laughs> hey, where'd the remote go? What the heck? <laughs> How on earth did this thing even get under there? Perfect. Now we just have to tape this puppy underneath the table. Here we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> the clear tape is definitely way more noticeable than the double-sided tape. I don't have any double-sided tape. I wasn't prepared for this. Ah! I'm just trying to make this stay up. I feel like this is gonna fall. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. And this is what it looks like from the top. It's pretty convincing uh, if you don't pay attention to like the tape. It looks pretty good. Let's try this out on Chris. Hey Chris, uh, what, are you, uh, what, are you, what are you doing there? Just hanging out. What's up? You look bored. Do you want to go watch some TV or something? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's go. Uh, Chris, what's your favorite show? Uh, I like Adventure Time. You like Adventure Time? Dude, I think that's that's on Netflix. Grab the remote. You mean it's on, yeah, it's on, it's on Netflix, dude. Why is nothing at your house normal? <laughs> I got you! Ha. You've been great! Can't believe you didn't see that coming. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say that this one works. Baba boy. Ah! Okay, so for this one, I just need a mirror. All right, this is what you guys look like. You're just a camera, see? All you guys are is a camera to me. Well, that sounds a little bad. You guys are just a camera to me. You guys mean a lot more to me than that. I swear. Anyway, we're gonna get our mirror, and we get our phone, and we just take ourselves a photo. Yeah, these turned out pretty good. I have to admit. Now let's go ahead and send it to the intern. Okay, guys, so Mike is chilling out on his couch. Right over there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send it right now. What the fudge is this? One goofy guy, I swear to God. You've been pranked! Oh, hi, Robbie. I sent you a crazy photo! Yeah, I mean, joke's on you. I'm gonna post this all over on the. What? No! No, Mike! Yeah, I'm gonna no. let this thing go viral. I'm gonna break Get your phone back. again! No! Stop. I'm breaking your phone! Stop! 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 I'm gonna break your phone! Stop! Stop. Stop. This isn't a joke! What are you. Ah, ah. Watch it! Whoa! No! Watch Dude, it! We down. play fire with fire Dude, right down. now! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Your phone's, your phone's right there! Your phone was right there! Your phone's fine! Oh, that was my phone. That was a bro, that was a phone from before! I'm so I really I'm sorry. Two phone pranks one day! Ha 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 ha
Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. For this prank, all you need is a deflated balloon and a can of chips. Simply fill up the balloon with water from your faucet. Once it's over the edge, roll the foil back over and place the plastic lid back on. Oh no, she is in for a messy surprise. There she glows! Okay guys, so here are our Pringles. Let's just pop that top off. Ooh, fresh. Take all these bad boys out. What's your guys' favorite chip flavor? Let me know down in the comments down below. My favorite has to be sour cream, I think. They're pretty freaking good. Mmm, delicious. Okay, get all this out of here. Okay, then we get a balloon, put it inside the Pringles can, and then we go ahead and fill it up with water. It's perfect! This is the perfect crime. And we put the cap back on. Yeah, I don't think Chris will ever notice. Let's try this puppy out. Okay, Jordan! Hey, what's up, dude? I got you a delicious can of Pringles. I'm oh, sick, I love Pringles. Whoa. I got you! You've been pranked! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! Do you have any real Pringles though? Cause I kinda want some. No, I gotta go. They're all mine. Those Pringles are all mine. <laughs> hey, okay guys, now it's your favorite part of the video where we make a thumbnail! Woo! So they don't actually explain how to do this one, but I'm guessing you just get yourself some string and some eyelash glue. Then you just cut little pieces so it looks like you sewed your lips together. That's what I'm gonna attempt to do right now. And unfortunately I won't really be able to talk after this, so I, I apologize. We're going in, boys. First one. One down. What did you do? Antonio Robi, que pasó que asiste? Calma, de bro, calm down, calm down. You've been pranked. You've been pranked. Why isn't there blood? How did you do that? It's eyelash glue. I used eyelash glue to put. Them to, to put this on. Doesn't it look cool though? It looks cool. I think I would have fell for it more if it had blood. I would have freaked out a little bit more. I almost put blood. I should have put blood. I'm gonna go put blood. Well guys, I guess I gotta have to say that this one 100% works. There are so many boxes. Whoops! I can't hold it. Haha, <laughs> Rosie, you fell for my prank. Oh, excuse me. My boxes. <laughs> Buddy, that's not funny. Oh, okay guys. So here are our boxes. <laughs> Oops. I haven't quite taped them down yet. So they don't really show you how exactly to do this. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it my best shot, okay? Okay, so my guess is that they just kind of stacked up their boxes just like this, and then they used tape to kind of hold them together. Ugh. Do you guys hate how like this tape like is so hard to undo? This is my least favorite kind of tape. There we go. We're just gonna tape it with some clear tape so they can't see what's going on. And then on the other side, we just take tape and kind of give it a little bit of room to move, like that. Although I might do a little hinge on the inside like this right really quick. So now, it just kind of falls, but it stays. So now we have to limit it so that it can only move like this much. I'm not sure exactly how they did that part. I think it's just like that maybe. Or maybe they used string. I'm actually not sure how they did it. Maybe they just put like tape like that and then, oh no! Boom, yeah, there we go. It only needs to move a little bit. Well, let's make it move more. Perfect. No! This might take longer than I expected it to. There we go. Yeah! Oh, one down, like uh, eight more to go. <laughs> Okay, now uh, now this side. So it doesn't do that. Not bad so far. Okay, and this ought to do it. You guys ready? Let's knock it down. Nope. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, this is so cool actually. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> and... Did I just break it? I really hope I didn't just break it. I spent so much time on this. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and put a hidden camera inside the top one to see his first person reaction. First I'm gonna need to cut a little hole. I think I might have cut it a little too big. Get our camera and just shove that in there. Tape that bad boy down. Okay, does it move at all? Oh no! I guess that answer is if I broke it when I threw it. Okay, we'll try it again. Here we go. Oh no, Chris! Oh! Oh! Dude, this must look so wacky. Oh, I can't wait to see how this turns out. Let's test it out on Chris. Oh, hey, Jordan! Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, dude, we got a lot of mail in this one, what? so, uh, oh my, oh my, shoot! Oh, 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 dude! Are you okay? Oh, 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 o
go. A little water to gelatin to make thick jelly. Put it into a microwave. Add ketchup and stir well. Pour the fluid into silicone molds and put them into the fridge. Take the cooled jelly out of the molds. Okay, guys, here's our bowl. Here's our gelatin. Just gonna put some of that in there. How much does this make? It doesn't even say. It makes up to one cup. Okay, so I don't really need that much. So let's put our water in. Get in there. Let's go ahead and mix this up. It kind of looks like applesauce. I feel like I need to add more water. Here we go. Yeah, that looks a little better. Looks good. Let's toss this bad boy in the microwave. There we go. One minute. Start. Let that cook for a second. Okay, that's all done. Now we just gotta add some ketchup. Mix this up. Oh, that smells so not good. It Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Now let's go toss this in the fridge for an hour. Okay, so it's all done, and I kind of forgot to put it inside the Jello mold. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell him that it's Jello, and hopefully he'll fall for it. <laughs> oh, okay, let's test this out on Chris. Hey, I'm Jordan. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I I made you some Jello. Do you want some? Yeah, I'll have some Jello. I love what flavor Jello is this? Oh, this is uh, this is uh, it's strawberry fl flavor. Well, like actual Jello, so. <laughs> Okay, let's do the next prank. <laughs> the perfect time to pull an epic prank on Mrs. Appleby. She's not even gonna realize her mug of coffee is upside down. Ooh, that coffee's going everywhere. Okay guys, so every morning, Chris makes himself a fresh pot of coffee and he's doing it right now. So this gives us the perfect opportunity. Pretty legit, actually. You have to look really close to really see the paper that I just freaking tore away. <laughs> okay, now it's time to hide. Oh, 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 what the heck? You've been praying! Dude, are you kidding me? Why would you do that? Dude, first thing in the morning. Good first... morning, Chris! Oh, it's kind of like... A thing, you're not supposed to mess with people's coffee. Like, I literally only made enough for me. Chris! Oh my gosh, dude. Chris, we literally have like 20 freaking things of monster right here, dude. Why are you drinking coffee? I can already tell it's gonna be a long day. I'm not cleaning that up. Oh, man. Dang it. Make a cut in a sponge. Take out a part of the abrasive layer. Add the black gel coloring in. Hot glue. She pours some dish soap on. Adds water. And squeezes it. And she didn't expect that. She wanted to wash up dishes, but instead, dirty. We got our sponge, we got our knife. This is probably a little bit overkill for what I, I'm doing. So just go ahead and cut through like that. I didn't even need the knife for this. I do, however, need the hot glue gun. Whatever you guys do, don't show this to SpongeBob. Then we got our black icing that we're gonna put in here. Fun fact, my friend cut off two of his fingers with this knife, and now I call him Eight Finger McGee. All I need really is these scissors. Gonna fill this jelly donut with some fun juice. Okay, now we gotta hot glue it back together. It's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh, only minus the peanut butter and the jelly and the sandwich. Second like thought, nothing like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now our sponge is all locked and loaded and ready to go. Bonnie, what the heck is up with all these fucking dishes? Uh, did people eat food in the house? Do your fucking dishes! Uh, maybe I will. I'll do them right now. I know for a fact these are fucking mine, but I'll do them. Rub a dub dub. Three men in a tub. Dreams do come true. What is that? Is that dirty dishwater? What is that? What is that? Is that black? The Black Plague? What is that? <laughs> You've been pranked! What a fool I was! In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have used all black dishes for this. <laughs> Okay guys, so for this one, I actually don't have a giant stuffed teddy bear, but I do have a giant stuffed Snorlax! So I guess what I have to do now is start taking the stuffing out. This is gonna take a while. Here we go! 
Oh my gosh, there's so much stuffing in here. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to try and fit in this with some of the stuffing still in there. So wish me luck. Oh boy, I don't know if I can do this. One foot, another foot. Oh boy. Oh my God, it worked! How funny does this look? Are you? That's a lot of stuff and falling out. Oh no, I ripped it. Okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it exactly where it was before and then I'm gonna start calling Tori. I'm pretty confident that this one works. She'll never see it coming. Now I just have to get in there. Oh, oh that kind of hurt. Okay, I'm ready. Tori Dabransky! Oh, Tori Dabransky! Man, it's so hot in here. Boo! Did I scare you? No, I can see your butt. What? <laughs> you can see my butt? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so hot in there, Tori. You see all this stuff? Did I get you? No. You know where I was the whole time? I can see your butt. Your butt was sticking out. Dang it. I should have covered my butt. And also the camera's just like in the middle of the room pointed at the store lap. Tori Dabransky, are you saying that I did a bad job on this prank? I mean, you could have hit it a little bit better. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say that this one doesn't work. Well, maybe I just did it wrong. Probably the second one. Okay, this one's real simple. All you got to do is get a bunch of boxes. Then you got to cut some holes in the boxes and make yourself uh, basically a box suit. And before you know it, you'll be a Minecraft character. Wow! Then all you gotta do is line yourself up with a bunch of other boxes that are just, you know, sitting there. And when your friend least expects it, boom! Oh my gosh! A box monster! They're moving by themselves! Is it haunted? I don't know. This is gonna be... I don't know what this is gonna be. <laughs> I can see this one probably working. Let's try it! Ooh, box delivery! Okay, so we got our boxes. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put them together. Here's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. I don't think I'll fit. Might need to be one more higher. Okay, guys. Yeah? I think this might work. And then I stand and I'll just be like, oh. Okay, now we gotta cut some holes. Yeah, not bad. Okay, that took longer than expected. I used some Gorilla Tape to kind of help uh, structure it a little bit. Body first. My arm holes. Okay, step into the boxes. Oh my god. Perfect. Wow. Okay, ready for this? Okay, let's test this one out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Come here! Tori! I'm doing one of the boxes. No, no you're not though. Right. What? What? Tori! <laughs> works. 10 out of 10, wholesome prank, would recommend. If you can catch this with your forehead without using your hands, then I'll give you it. 3, 2, 1. Oh, hair Jordan! Hey, how you doing? Good, man. I didn't, I didn't even see you there. Do you like a uh, Jiffy Loop? Yeah, they're all right. But I know you've been having a lot of problems with your car lately, right? Hmm. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> well, uh, I got this Jiffy Lube uh, gift card here. It's $100. So all you have to do to get this gift card is when I drop the card off the wall, you have to try and catch it with your head. Okay. Okay, you ready? 100 bucks, dude, I got this. $100, all right. ready? Three, two, one! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you hit your head really hard there, buddy. Are you good? Chris? Did I win? Did I win? No, you lost! You've been pranked! What? Was it not a Jiffy Lube gift card? Oh, no, it was a real Jiffy Lube gift card. I just... I just kicked it to the wall! You've been pranked! There's no way you could have gotten it! Oh, well then that means... Do I win? No, wait, Chris. I win? No, but I'm going to win Jiffy Lube! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Thanks, dude. You're the best! Hey, Chris! Okay, well, I guess it looks like I'm out $100! Oh, 
smoke bomb and we're all good to go. Dead. Are you good, dude? You almost killed me. What the heck? You've been pranked. <laughs> that was not a prank. Jesus, do you hear my voice? I can't even talk. <laughs> Messed up my throat, too. Well, guys, I guess we can say this one works. Please don't light smoke bombs off inside. So here's our chocolate. It's nice and hot. Just fresh out the microwave. Let's give it a good mix. Ooh, this is perfect. Then we get our eggs. Our very, very expired eggs. These expired last month. Perfect. And we just mix the egg inside the chocolate. Dude, I love white chocolate. It's my favorite kind of chocolate. Ugh. I've actually done this one a couple times on different friends, and I'm pretty sure that Chris will fall for this one. Then we get some parchment paper. Put our egg on there. There we go. Sweet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for a little bit, and then we'll try it out on Chris. Okay, so here's our egg. Yeah, it is uh, actually not bad. I would totally eat that. That looks, um, uh, Delicious. Okay, now let's try this out on Chris. Oh, hey, Hair Jordan. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I got you your favorite sugary treat, a chocolate-covered egg. Really? Yeah, doesn't it look so appetizing? Is this, uh, is this real? Yeah, this is real, <laughs> this is real chocolate. Okay. That's a real chocolate egg. Yeah, it is chocolate. See, it's real chocolate, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you been friggin' bread! That's disgusting! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Is that what a raw egg tastes like? That oh my gosh, dude! Is that is that egg rotten? Yeah. It's rotten no, by it's about not. it's rotten by about uh, three months. No, are you are you kidding me? That smells so bad. <laughs> you smell this. I actually haven't smelled it yet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude! Go dude! You're gonna go dude! Oh! Yeah. I bit into that! Why would you do that? That is horrible! I need something more, more than water. <laughs> what is your problem today? You've been freaking pranked, dude! This is not. <laughs> hey, Chris! Welcome to the office! Thanks. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one works. I'm going home early today. Wait, Chris, wait, no, stop. I need you to stop, come back! <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our onion. Then we just have to cut it in half. That probably wasn't the most efficient way to do it, but you know what? Ugh, ugh, it works, okay? I just didn't want to use the whole onion. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our blender. Then we just go ahead and toss this puppy in there. Here we go. I really hope that this doesn't go horribly wrong. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to take off the sticker. Well, I mean, it's close enough. Now we just go ahead and uh, pour it all out. It's not really uh, liquidy. Ugh. I mean, it's just chopped onions with a sticker. Here we go. Ugh. My eyes burn so bad right now. Like, I think I need safety glasses. Okay, yeah, these should do. They don't really help that much. So then we get our orange. I actually don't have a watermelon at the moment, uh, so this will have to do. All peel. Then I guess we just take our orange pieces and uh, put it in the onion. Oh, man. This just, this does not look good. Ew. This is gonna taste so funky. I kind of feel bad for making Chris eat this. <laughs> He's never gonna want to come over my house ever again. I'm gonna go ahead and save this piece for me. I just have to remember which one it is. Here we go. Put that in there. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and try this out on Chris. Okay. Hair Jordan! Come here! I made you a delicious...
delicious and nutritious snack. Hey, what's up? I made you some oranges. Come here. They're delicious and nutritious and uh, they're great. I kind of don't trust this. What? Will you eat one first? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. No, it's great. Oh. Here, Chris, Chris, try it. Alright, you say so. Um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Not bad. Chris, you've been, you've been pranked. That really didn't taste like that. <laughs> well, guys, I guess if you're gonna try this one, uh, make sure that you don't get the wrong one. I think it's gonna rain. Here's an umbrella. Do you want me to save you from the rain? What? Oh, you guys, so I actually don't have any feathers that I can put inside my umbrella. But I do have a lot of post-it notes left over from that one video. You guys know what I'm talking about? You've been great! Oh, well, have fun! You put them everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I bet this is gonna give Chris flashbacks. <laughs> Time to do something really unlucky. And that is open an umbrella indoors. Oh boy, I feel the bad luck surging through me. Okay, so we're just gonna get our post-it note, and then, uh, you know. There we go. Now I just gotta do that with this multiple books. I'm gonna fill this up completely. Okay, we're all done. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up. You get it? Wrapping it up. Oh man, it barely closes. And, oh! oh okay, so when he's about to leave, I'm gonna give him this umbrella and tell him it's about to rain. So I'll see you then! <laughs> oh hey, Harry Jordan. Are you up, are you heading out for the day? Yeah, I'm going out. Oh, I think it's I think it's gonna rain outside. Um, really? You should, you should take this umbrella. Are you sure it's gonna rain? Yeah, it's uh it's pretty. It feels pretty cloudy out there. Uh, okay. Uh, just, uh, open it up just to make sure it's it's it, uh, that's a proper umbrella. Post-it notes, dude. Are these post-it notes? Yes, they are. No. No! Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Uh, have a good rest of your day, Chris. I'll see you later. Uh, uh, so over dramatic. Add a few spoons of gelatin to milk. Mix it and heat it up in a microwave. Put it into a fridge. Take it out of the bowl when it hardens. Cut the excess jelly so that it looks like a bar of butter. Okay, so here's our bowl. Here's our gelatin. Yes. Put that in there. Looks good. Don't need that anymore. Here's some milk. That should do it. Now we just give this a good old mix. That looks pretty good. Now we just have to put this bad boy in the microwave. Okay, that's nice and hot. Another mix just to be safe. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this thing because it's a little bit more square, like butter. Hopefully that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the fridge and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, yeah. Wow, this looks surprisingly a lot like butter. Wow, that turned out a lot better than I expected. Now we just gotta take it out. Uh, maybe just... Uh oh, maybe if we... It's not coming out! Maybe if I just get a spoon and kind of like... Huh? I think it might do it! <gasps> it's coming out! Yes! Wow! This is hilarious. This could be like skin or something. Dude, that is crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and cut it in the shape of butter. What? Yeah, that's uh, that's good enough. Okay, put the rest back. Let's go ahead and test this out on Chris. Hey, Hair Jordan! Hi. How you doing? Uh, good. I'm really sorry for the prank that I did earlier. Um, How would you like some um, fresh toast and some homemade butter? I just made it yesterday. I love toast and butter. It's like my favorite thing. Dude, per okay, perfect. Yeah, let's make some, let's, let's make some toast. All right. In here. Uh, we're good. Now we just gotta. Uh, now all we gotta do is wait. Okay, it looks like the toast's all done. Here's our butter. You want me to do it? Or I'll butter you it. Butter it up. Please? I love butter toast. Yeah. Yes, dude. You are. Oh my gosh, you're, dude, you're gonna love this butter. Sorry, the texture's a little weird. I'm still kind of. Dude. I'm still kind of like uh, making it. <laughs> This isn't butter, dude. No, that is butter. Taste no. it. It's butter. This is string it's cheese. String taste cheese. it, really? You want me to taste straight butter? <laughs> dude, straight butter does not taste dude, good. What is this? Butter does not taste good by itself. <laughs> is this skim milk? There's like no taste. You've been great. Dang it. That's milk in gelatin. That is 
is so gross, dude. It tastes like rubber. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Worms. Want some worms? That's really weird, dude. That is really weird. What is wrong with this place? Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. How is it? It's good butter. The real butter's good. Hey, Mr. Smith left his laptop. Let's prank him with a copy machine. Why isn't anything changing on my screen? A fake screen? Yep. Okay guys, so Chris actually has a pretty big screen. So in order for me to actually print the whole thing out, I would have to somehow print it out in pieces. And that sounds way too complicated. So instead of going and printing it all out, I'm just gonna go ahead and give him the blue screen of death. Okay guys, so first I have to wait for Chris to go into the bathroom. I think he's going. And we're good. Damn, you can really hear him. He's going fucking hard, dude. I'm gonna steal this Chris's. Don't need this anymore. I forgot the tape. I have to hurry up. Okay, so I'm actually gonna add another level to this prank. Look a broken screen. Yes, that looks like a broken screen. Perfect. I'm gonna put this on, just like that. I need tape. Okay, and I think we're good. Okay, now we gotta get out of here before Chris is done. Oh hey Chris, how's it going, dude? Oh my God, your your computer it's blue screening. What? Oh my, Chris! Oh my God, your computer's blue screening. Why did you? Oh no! Oh my God, your monitor's broken. Hey too, dude. I'm so sorry. Dude, oh my God. I meant to just did tuck it really, into the computer. Did you really break my screen just and then to... just cover it up? No, I I tried to cover it up with the blue, but dude. dude what the heck? Are you freaking kidding me? I was working on your video. I was editing your video. Now we can't. Dude, do. this is my screen. I have some. I have. You some. covered it up with this? Yeah, I was just playing. The blue I'm screen. sorry. This, oh Chris, I didn't God, mean dude. to. I didn't mean to break your screen. Really? But how did, how did this happen? Don't worry. I can. I think I know an escape. Wow. I got you! Wow, Riley, wow. Good one. That's a good one. It's a freak. Here, take your blue screen. Get out. I have some real work to do. Nah, mess around. All right, see ya. Uh, I gotta work. Okay. Guys, I think we made Chris mad. <laughs> I got you! Mm, sure did. You forgot your tape. Oh, oh, God. The toothpaste tube. Take out the contents. Clean the inside of the tube. Wrap the edge in parchment paper and seal it with a flat iron. Now we can put cute worms in the empty toothpaste tube. Okay, so first things first, we have to go and steal Chris's toothpaste. Oh, hey, Hair Jordan, uh, don't mind me. I'm, I'm just using the bathroom like a normal human being. And I'm done, I'll see you later. Okay. Now let's get this toothpaste out of the tube. I'm just gonna put it in a bag so that I can use it later. Cut off this side. Yeah, and we're just gonna squeeze all of that out. Oh man. Dude, toothpaste looks so weird in mass quantities. I just can't put my finger on it, but it just looks so strange. Dang. So if you guys ever wondered what toothpaste looks like outside the tube, this is it. There we go, not bad. I think I need to rinse this out a little bit, so I'm gonna go do that. Now this is all cleaned out. We're uh, gonna go ahead and uh, seal it off, I guess. Next we grab some parchment paper. We just kind of put it over it, just like that. There we go. And theoretically, it should just kind of uh, melt together. Did it work? <gasps> it worked! Woo! Dude, awesome. Ow, it's still really hot. Then we get our worms. These are like pre-packaged flavor worms. I've only had these a couple times, but I don't really remember what they taste like. Uh, these are barbecue flavor. In the video, they used real live worms, but in this one, I'm gonna use these dead flavored ones because I don't wanna look like a serial killer. There we go. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, put those in there. We'll never be the wiser. Dude, I'm getting worms everywhere. Oh, okay, let's go test this out on Chris. Oh, hey, Chris. What's up, dude? Hey, uh, so I don't want to be a judge on your oral hygiene or anything, but when was the last time you brushed your teeth? Like this morning? That's, you have to brush your teeth three times a day, dude. Three times. Yeah. See, it, it's, it's about lunchtime. It's about one o'clock. You gotta brush your teeth, man. Uh, I just brush mine. Time for you to brush yours. Okay, can you really smell my breath all dude, the way in your office? I can smell it in my office. I can smell it down this freaking street, dude. 
something something's wrong with the toothpaste. Is that a is that a worm? That's a worm! Yeah, oh, there's a worm! I thought it was a worm! Why is there so many worms in the toothpaste, dude? I put did you do that? No! Disgusting! Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Enjoy brushing your teeth, I'll see you later. Two cups of strong tea. Add soy sauce to one of them and stir. Oops, the tea seems to be not as sweet as she expected. Oh hey Chris, how's it going? Good. I was about to make some tea, would you like some? Yeah, take some tea. Okay, cool, I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our tea kettle. Whoop. Wait for that to boil. Okay, now we get our tea. Wait, what the? Decaffeinated? What the heck? Oh. And stay out this time! Okay, let's get our real tea. Get our cups. Go ahead and put the tea bags in there. Why aren't these opening? Oh. Why are these tea bags so freaking hard to open? There we go. Perfect. Drop some of the packaging in there. Wrap it around there. Put our hot water. And now we add our secret ingredient. That ought to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for these to cool down and I'm test them out on Chris. Oh, hey, Chris. Here's your tea. Oh, thanks, man. No problem. I hope you like it. Oh, I got it all over my table. Oh, no. I made it specially for you. I, um, this is my gra grandfather's recipe. What the heck, dude? Your grandfather made that? Are no, you kidding me? It's his recipe for tea. Dude, that's disgusting. It tastes like straight up salt water. <laughs> You've been right. What the heck is this? That's tea, but I also put soy sauce in it. <laughs> That's disgusting. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Uh, You've been pranked. Take that. <laughs> okay, Chris, I gotta go. Have a big hand like this one. After you stick it in your sleeve, place your arm on the edge of the car door or trunk, just like this. Once the trunk closes on your fake hand, it's showtime. Ah, uh, Lily, my hand is stuck. What? Oh no! Ha, you've been totally fooled, Lily. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I need to do is put on a sweater. Perfect. It is kind of hot to be wearing a sweater right now, but I don't think Chris will notice. And the next thing I need is a hand. Unfortunately, I don't have a hand the size of my hand, but I do have a fake baby hand. I'm pretty sure Chris wouldn't notice the difference. Let's go try this bad boy out. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's up? I'm really sorry for all these pranks I've been doing on you. I would like to take you to the movies as an apology for everything that's been going on. Yeah? You want to go? I'd love to go to the movies. Sick, let's go. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just got to get on my shoes really quick. This is harder than I thought. Good enough. Okay, yeah, let's go. Can you open the door yeah, 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 I got, I got it. Hey, Chris, do you think you could open the trunk for me? Yeah. There you go. Oh, thanks, dude. Yep, just as I thought. Still a mess. Yeah, you can, uh, you can go ahead and close it. Oh! Oh! oh my God! My God! Break! I can't believe you fell for that. It's giving a thumbs up. I guess we can say that this one works. <laughs> prepared a new case for his sister. Now she'll be looking for her phone the whole day. This phone blends into the carpet. Oh no, where's my phone? Here it is, a ringing carpet. What a great disguise, Ben. Okay guys, so here's our carpet. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a photo really quick. Yeah, that looks pretty close enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and print this bad boy out. You can do a printer, I believe in you. This thing's given me a lot of trouble in the past. But I think it might be redeeming itself. Oh, it's struggling. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It blends in perfectly. Now it's time to steal Chris's phone. <laughs> oh, hey, Hair Jordan. Yo, what's up, dude? How's it, how's it going? Good, man. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I'm just working on this video. I'll probably be done. Good, good job. I'm, I'm so happy you're doing good. Yeah. Target acquired. And we just, uh... Boom! Where did it go? I can't find it anywhere. Now we have to give him a reason to check his phone. Oh, hey, Chris. Did hey, you get up, that $10,000 that I sent you? Definitely not. Really? Have you have you checked your pay, PayPal? No, did you? Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumb. What? Did you see my phone? No, I haven't. Why are you doing me? Why are you pressing so on Chris? It's me, dude. Uh, no reason. Here, you guys are doing Dude, I have no idea where your phone could possibly be. The, did you did you take, is it in here? No, dude. You do something to my phone? I didn't do anything to your okay. phone. Okay. Here, Chris, I have no idea where your phone too. is. Oh, do you want me to call it? Yeah, it'll be great. Real soon. Peace out, man. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Oh, it's fine. My room, I can promise you that. You hear it? You hear it? Yeah, sounds like it's not here. I don't know. Oh, dude. I don't know where. Where's my 
phone. I don't know where your I phone is. I hear it out here. I don't know where it could possibly be. Where is it? Oh my God, how did it, what? Oh my, can you believe that there's a perfect picture of th th this carpet right here and your phone just happened to be underneath? Good one, dude. I almost stepped on it. What if I would've stepped on my phone? So I'm in my PayPal, where's the $10,000? Oh, uh, that was part of the, that was part of the prank. You paid prank! Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. I don't think you ever saw that one coming. <laughs> Take out wax from a tea light candle. Take out the wick. Put it back into a metallic base and fill it with hot glue. It is a prank candle and it doesn't work. Okay, so here's our little tea light. I guess we just gotta take this out. Then we take the wick out. Just go, oh, oh, the wick didn't come out. Maybe if I grab some pliers and just, uh, here we go. Just like my nose hairs. Ready? One, two, and dang it, didn't come out. Yep, just like my nose hairs. Sometimes it takes a few tries, okay? Come on. Did I get it? There's the wick. I feel like this wick is way too short. But it's it's what I have, so here we go. Okay, good enough. Put that there. Then we grab our hot glue gun, and we just fill it up. You've got this hot glue gun. There we go. Ah! I dropped the wick. Don't touch the hot glue. Don't touch the hot glue. Don't touch the hot glue. Ah! Even the little container's hot. Ah! I need another wick. Here we go. I just got another wick out of another candle. Plop that in there. Boop. No! It's sticking to my pliers. I can do this. Boop. Come on. Why isn't it coming off? Okay, I'll just put it in there when it's like dry. Fill that up. And I just gotta be really careful to not burn myself. And come on. There we go, we did it! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for a little bit and then we'll try it out on Chris. <sighs> okay guys, so I'm in my garage right now and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the power to the room that Chris is in. All the way over there, so it's gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of a journey to get there. Oh my gosh. All my wood. This is where I keep all the spare wood for my project. Okay, oh, just random table saw. Oh, okay. Hot checked balloon. I, I don't even know what that, what does that mean? Okay, uh, laundry, family plug-in, washer, dryer, bedroom. Which one's the main room? Uh, okay, 18. 18 and 16. Okay, so eight, where did 18 go? Oh, 18 and 16. Okay. Let's go prank Chris. Hey, Chris. Dude, I think your power's out. Wait, wait, what? What do you mean? There's no power. It's, it's dark in here. There's no lights, no anything. Oh, uh, uh, here's, a, here's a tea light. Go ahead and light that. Okay. That's the only source of light I have. All right. Dude! You've been pranked! You please give me a normal candle? That is what is the problem here? And that's hot glue! You, that smells like, ooh, that does not smell good. You just lit glue on fire, and there's no TV. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Nothing works here. <laughs> Microwave a lot of gum. Knead the pieces together and add beige food coloring. Shape a nose. What a great nose. Ow! What a great prank. Our roommate, Alex, almost had a heart attack. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put some parchment paper down. There we go. Then we get our gum. Ooh. Mm. How many of you guys are mad at me right now? Do you guys think I could still use this? Now apparently you're supposed to microwave these, so uh, <laughs> I guess I'll do that and we'll see how it turns out. Oh my goodness. So uh, the gum that I chewed um, didn't hold up very well. And this gum, oh I might be able to knead that together actually. I'm just gonna break out a couple of spoons and just start kneading. Yeah. It's not our, ow, ow, so freaking hot. Oh crud. I shouldn't have used my hands. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep using the spoon. I don't know how well this is gonna work, cause like, it's not exactly staying together very well. Maybe if I mix it in with my already chewed gum. Oh my goodness. I think I might have used the wrong kind of gum. Cause this is not working. How the heck do you like, melt down gum and make it into a nose shape? This isn't turning out very well. Uh, Can I touch it? It's all falling apart. Just like my life. I'm gonna scoop it all up. It's starting to kind of morph together. Maybe if I put it all on the parchment paper, I can kind of just uh, knead it all together like this. At least it's cool enough for me to touch now. Okay, not bad. Cool, now let's start making this into a nose shape. I guess my nose kind of goes down like this. Make some holes. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, this is actually starting to look like a nose. Wow, that actually kind of looks like a very cracked nose. Okay, well, I guess uh, we'll try this out on Chris. Okay, guys, let's do this. Oh, my God! Oh, oh Chris! Oh, my God! Dude, dude, dude. Oh! This doesn't even look real. What are you talking about? You've been great! Do better next time. Hey guys, I guess we're gonna have to say it. This one uh, kinda works. 
It works. I think it works. It totally works. Just get out of my craft corner. Get out of here. Cut Nutella in a microwave. Cut off the top of an empty toothpaste tube. Clean it inside and fill it with Nutella. Cover the cut with parchment paper and iron it. It is way tastier and it will definitely cause a prank in response. Okay, guys, so here's our toothpaste. Now I just gotta get all the toothpaste out of it. Let's go ahead and cut off the end. And then we have to squeeze it out. Yeah! I wonder if I can just blow on this end and then all of it will come out. Let's try. It's kind of working! Come on, toothpaste! Yes! Now let's go ahead and get it all out of this side. Every single drop. Whenever I have toothpaste, I usually wait until the very last drop to get more. It's probably a bad idea because, you know, you might run out sooner, but it's fine. Oh, I got it all over me. How we doing? Yeah, it's just about empty. Here's our Nutella. Let's go ahead and microwave this for a sec. Oh, man. I have to go all the way to the microwave. Well, uh, let's do this. Here we go. One minute should be good. Oh, okay, yeah, Um. so it turns out that there's some foil on Nutella. So be careful and make sure to take all that off if you're gonna do this. It definitely got burned a little bit. So let's get our spoon, mix that up. Oh, that is so liquidy. That is perfection. Yes, yes. Put our cap on. Now let's start putting some Nutella in here. We've got this. Maybe I should use a syringe. Yeah, just plop that in there. And then, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, that was way harder than I thought. Keep going, come on. Okay, now I'm gonna put the tip on. Whoop. Now let's try. Let's stick this in here. Oh, there's a there's a guy here. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's working. Yes. This is so hard to squeeze. Oh. I'm so glad that this is actually working though. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's just uh, wipe this off a little bit. Get out of here. Yeah, not bad. Then we get our parchment paper. Slap that on there. And we just uh, you know do this. Then we grab our flat iron. And apparently this should just uh, melt together and make a perfect seal. I hope this actually works. Oh, I got Nutella on my iron. Wow. Yeah, that looks like it's uh, working pretty good. Gonna go ahead and let this cool down, maybe rinse it off a little bit, and then we'll try it out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan. Hey, where are you? I'm in the kitchen. Get some breakfast. Oh, no, you should uh, you should try my new toothpaste. Just like try it? Yeah, uh, go, br try, go brush your teeth with it. It's great. It's really it's really good. It'll make your, your teeth really white. I don't remember if this one's mine or not. Wait, who else is, who's tooth, wait. What? <laughs> yeah, it has that brown, it's like that, it's like that charcoal toothpaste. Really? Oh, okay, well, I've done charcoal before. It's like really good for you. Yeah. You've been pranked! What? you tell us? What have you been, you've been pranked! Chocolate. Now my whole toothbrush is ruined. I have to get a new one. That's why you it's just do tell man, calm down. Oh. Yeah, you're right, it's actually not that bad. I might I might just You've been pranked. Thanks. I gotta go! See ya! For this prank, take an aloe vera leaf, scoop out the clear goo with your fingers. Hey, Amy, you want your marker back? Ew, look at all that goo. Okay guys, so this is actually the perfect prank right now because I told Chris that I was gonna let him borrow my camera But little does he know I'm gonna be pulling a little prank on him So I don't actually have any aloe vera at the moment, but I do have this little jar of slime So I'm just gonna take a, a little scoop out of there and then before I hand him the camera I'm gonna pretend to sneeze on it and then I'll put the slime right on you just like that Okay, let's go test this out on Chris. Oh hair Jordan Oh hey uh, you, uh, here's that camera that you wanted to borrow from me since, uh, you know, you broke yours. I don't need this anymore. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, no, no pro- uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, God. There. Oh, hey, yeah, here you go, dude. Just, uh... Dude. Yeah. Dude. This is all slimy. Don't you know? Everyone's like sick right now. You need a mask, dude. You need to what? put a mask on. And then you need to take this camera back and clean it. I can't believe I just touched that, dude. There's like snot all over the place. What the heck is this? Why am I even touching this? Dude! Ugh. Wait, why did you get touch that? my snot? I don't know! That's my I'm snot! Not. It's sick Chris, now! You touched I'm gonna get snot. sick now! That's just disgusting! Why are you on? That's your shit! It's soap and hot water. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just did that. You sneezed on your own stuff. Chris! What? It's a prank! I didn't sneeze at all! That was slime! Oh, that's a good one. That was a real snot. You've been pranked! Can I still borrow the camera? No, I'll see you later! Wait, oh, really? Unwrap a lollipop and keep the wrapper. Eat the candy as you'll need the stick. Add food coloring to water. Pour the colored water into a small balloon. Put in the lollipop stick. 
put it into a freezer. Remove the balloon from the frozen water and wrap the fake lollipop into the wrapper. Okay guys, so here are our lollipop. All we gotta do is uh, take these bad boys out. Mm, looks pretty good. Now I gotta take the sticks off. Uh, Maybe I'll just eat them. This is gonna take longer than I thought. I don't wanna just bite down on them because I feel like I'm gonna chip a tooth. Well, I guess I gotta do the only reasonable answer. Yeah, that did it. That was way too efficient. We'll put these off to the side. Here's our bowl. Add some water. There we go. Then we add our food coloring. Sorry, the bowl is black, so you can't really see it, but it's pretty blue. Mix it up. I can't find a funnel, but I do have a syringe, so I guess that's gonna have to do. Here are our balloons. Now we're just gonna go ahead. Oh, I'm getting this everywhere. Ah, it's on my hands. Just gonna suck some of this stuff up. Yeah, that ought to be enough. Oh, that is so blue. Put that in there. I think that the balloon that I got might be a little big, but I'm sure it's fine. He's just gonna get a really big lollipop, I guess. And yeah, that oughta, that oughta do it. Tape this bad boy up. Oh no. I don't know how well this is actually gonna work, but um, one down. Second stick. Twist that up. Tape it down. Yes. Okay, looks good. Let's throw these in the freezer and uh, wait a few hours. Okay, so here they are. Now let's unwrap them and see how they turned out. There we go. Uh, Oh boy, these are gonna be some good lollipops. I can already tell. Real careful. Oh. Oh, it didn't freeze all the way. What is wrong with this lollipop? Okay, maybe the other one turned out a little better. Come on. Oh. Okay, come on. I'll go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Here we go. Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh boy. It's like a little bowl. Why did it freeze like that? I could probably fit a perfect lollipop inside that. Dude. Wow. Okay. Uh, now all we gotta do is wrap them up. I don't know if these wrappers will fit on top of them. Oh no. I created a monster. Okay, maybe I can just combine the wrappers to make it into a giant dum dum. Maybe some tape will help. Okay. Yes. I think we're onto something. Oh. It doesn't stick to it because it's parchment paper. Paper. Okay, I just gotta put the tape all the way around. Maybe that's a solution. Just... Yes! I feel it in my bones. This is definitely going to work. Okay, let's go test this bad boy out on Chris. Hey, Hair Jordan. Hey, how's it going? I got you this lollipop. Really? Yeah, it's a ultra dum-dum. Oh. It's the biggest dum-dum in the world. Re oh, okay. It's right next to me. That explains the weird wrapper, huh? <laughs> Thought it looked strange, but I guess if it's the biggest in yes, the world. look how big that thing is. Okay. I just like. What do you think? Is it good? Dude, this tastes like water. What the That's heck? That's not a dumb dumb at all. It's just it's just this food color. Oh, come on, there's no flavor. No. Why didn't you? You've been trained. I don't want this. Here. Do you want some real dum dums? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Enjoy your candy. I'm going to add a little sand to her drink. The sugar looks like sand. This is regular sand, and this is brown sugar. They look very much alike. Take your cup and add the special sand to her drink. She's at a loss. She doesn't know what to think. Everything becomes clear when she tastes her drink. Lonnie, I'm so sorry that I did all those mean pranks to you. Yeah, you're, you're really pissing me off. So I made you some coffee to make up for it. I do like coffee. Would you like some sand to go in your coffee? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You've been pranked the sugar! Holy shit. Doesn't taste like sand at all. Enjoying the view? Um, the one off screen? I think it's time we get off our phones for a while. Had a slit in a water bottle like this. Make sure it's as long as your phone. Okay, guys, so here's our water bottle. I made sure to grab a really big one. That way, Tori's phone would fit. Now we just got to slice this bad boy open. We just, uh. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out with my phone. You ready? One, two, and. Boom. Sweet. So I think it works so far. Uh oh, how do I get it out? Ah, it's kind of wet in there. I should probably dry it off before I test it on Tori's phone. Just kind of dry it off a little bit on the inside. There we go. Okay, now time to test this out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabramski! That's how you call the wild Tori Dabramski, if you didn't know. She's coming, guys. There she is. Oh. Hey, Tori Dabramski, do you want to see magic trick? Sure. Can I see your phone? Oh, let me go grab it. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Okay, I'm back. Here you go. Okay, Tori Dabramski, so see this water bottle? Yeah. I'm gonna make this disappear. You ready? One, two, Problem solved.
over? You know what to do! The bench, what do we do? How do we solve this? Can you do it? Bench, can you figure it out? I don't think he knows. I think the bench is stumped on this one. Can Tora Dabransky figure it out? What? Oh my gosh, you're sticking your hand in the water box. How are you doing that? What? Oh my gosh, you figured it out! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Did I get you? No, I mean, yeah, sure, Robbie. Woo! Never suspected a thing. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Okay, you're about to go somewhere, so you knock on your buddy's door. Are you awake? Come on, man. We're about to leave. We were gonna leave in like five minutes. So you go to check on him to see if he's still alive. And he's like, hey, dude, are you sleeping? Huh, I wonder what's going on. Pulls back the covers? What the heck? Oh my god, how are you standing on your hands like that? This is amazing! Oh my, what skill? What crazy agility and strength? How, uh, mate, how does he do it? Wow! I remember this was a really big trend on TikTok for a while, and I never got to do this one, but I'm actually kind of excited to try it. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need for this one is some pants. I'm also gonna need to take off this hoodie and kinda wear them like pants. This is definitely a weird one. Yeah, how's that looking so far? Not bad. Next, I'm gonna have to put these pants on top of my top body, I guess. Oh, man, I definitely think this would've worked a lot better with sweatpants. Oh, my God. Ow! The zipper hit my face and it hurts. Ouch. I need sweatpants. So this is me and Tori's closet, guys. Uh, I have a lot of boots. Uh, please don't... Don't judge me. There has to be sweatpants in here somewhere. Oh, oh yes, perfect. So now we just uh, put the sweatpants. Oh, this is so weird. I can't put my hand down. I also need this to go up a little bit. Better. Okay, what do you guys think? I literally can't see anything, so. Oh, what a wonderful day. It's a great day to do handstands. Woo! I'm standing on my hands. Whoa, a cartwheel. Oh my God, okay. I think I'm ready to test this one out on Tori. Tori Dabransky! I have something really cool to show you. I learned a new trick. I'm doing great here. Do you want to see my new trick? You look very broken. Are you okay? I'm doing okay. Okay, I'm doing fantastic. Woo! Your arms are like bending the wrong way. It's, it's a side effect of the new trick I learned. You want to see? Sure. Okay, I learned how to walk on my head. And you ready for this? We could say that this one freaking works. I can't believe she fell for this one. <laughs> Just wait till I, till I do my next one. I mean, I'm not doing. I, I got okay. I gotta go. Okay, guys. So I'm actually waiting for Chris to use the bathroom. Oh, oh I hear him. Kidding me? What happened here? That was you. That, where'd you get all these Tobies? I don't know. I wasn't throwing them. <laughs> you have a plumbing problem. <laughs> what, is that a spot? Okay, get out. Get out. Get out! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Like, like, real. What the heck? Yo. I am so sorry. Yo, like, so, why would you do that? I'm, I'm, I'm filming a video right now where I'm ruining people's iPhones and I'm giving them a brand new one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, so Chris is right over there. He's watching TV. No, nothing, nothing, Chris. I just dropped a silverware. What are you doing? Oh, 
no, oh, oh shoot, nothing. My phone. That is, is that really my phone? Yeah, it's your phone. No, it's I cut Bro, it. Bro, what the heck? Is this really my phone? Yes. Did you really just do this to my phone? Yes. You're kidding. Where's my real one? Dude, that's your real phone, dude. I just, dude, no. No. Are you kidding me? Why would you do this? It's okay. Why would you do this? I got you a new one. I don't care. This is my phone. Chris, I got you a new phone, though. Here, it's yours. It's. It's a prank. No, dude, come on, Chris. It's a prank, come on. I got you a new phone. Bro. That was old anyway. That was like, oh wait, that was the newest one. Oh, uh, you got it like, you got freaking got oh, it. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, well, uh, now you got an even be better, oh, better one. This is empty. Wait, oh, oh, oh no, I f***ed up. <laughs> I think I remember where it went. I put it in the match volcano. Can you rinse it off a little bit? Rip, dude. Well, I'm gonna go. I'll see you later. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your iPhone box. Have a, have a, uh, I owe you a new phone. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, guys. So here's our balloon. All you gotta do is blow it up. Oh, oh wow, it's in the shape of a heart. Or a butt, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> now we just tie it. Boop -boop -boop. Put it in our shirt. Oh my god, I'm so pregnant. But I'm also a man. Let's go test this one out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan. <laughs> How's it going, my guy? Oh, hey, what's up, man? So you just moved to the office. Uh, how, how you liking it? Is it good? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, not so bad. a few things have changed in the last couple days. For one, I'm pregnant! Feel his heartbeat? I think you might need to get that looked at. <laughs> Chris, what the heck? I have a confession. What's your confession? I'm not pregnant! Whoa, really? <laughs> I got you. I don't even know. You've been pranked! What? I'll see you later. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. <laughs> I don't think that Chris ever saw it coming. Print out a large picture of you in a pair of glasses like this one. Next, stick those suckers right onto your actual specs. Pop on a pair of these bad boys and head off to dreamland. Woo! Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is take a photo of my eyes. Here we go, maybe just like yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, I went ahead and cropped out the rest of my face. And file print. Boobity boo. Okay, please work, please work, please work, please work. Thank you. Okay, does this look about actual size? No, I need to go smaller. File print. Okay, so before, after. Yeah, that seems a little bit more appropriately sized. Okay. Perfect. Here are the glasses we're gonna be using. Oh, I look so weird right there. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> okay, so about that big. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Maybe if I flip it like that, outline my eyes. Oh, there we go. Dude, this looks kind of weird. Okay, so we got our rough outline of my eyes. Cut those out really quick. Oh, dude, this is so weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now I just gotta tape these bad boys on. Here we go. Let's try these bad boys on. Woo. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, I don't actually see myself right now, but I'm assuming it's hilarious. I'm gonna take a selfie really quick so I can see myself. Oh, this already looks really weird. Okay, and how'd that turn out? <laughs> oh, no! Dude, I look so wacky. My eyes are so crooked. <laughs> Dude, that is so funny, actually. Okay, I think Chris might fall for it. Okay, now it's time to go watch that boring movie with Chris. Okay, so Chris wants to watch the Scoob movie, but I've already watched it like six times, so I'm probably gonna fall asleep. But luckily, he doesn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. You ready, dude? Yeah, dude, I'm so stoked for this Me too. Scoob movie. I'm so excited. You haven't seen this yet? No, and you oh. haven't either, right? 
No. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to make you rewatch something you already. Yeah. Seen. Uh, <laughs> let me just put on my new glasses. It's my new prescription. Perfect. I'm all good for this movie. Yeah. Bro, that just make your eyes look really big. <laughs> yeah. It's a prescription. I didn't know you wore glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's a new thing. <laughs> we don't have to watch the movie. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, what the heck? What? Are, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. What the heck? I'm more excited this are movie. These, Say you don't want to watch it. Yes. I don't want to watch your darn dirty movie, okay? Is it dirty? Yeah. Tell me now. You said you've seen it. <laughs> so I'm, I go. I'm watching this alone now. Yeah, watch this alone. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Squeeze hot glue on a piece of plastic. Cut it out. Paint it with nail polish. Place an empty vial of the same nail polish. Add a dried brush. As soon as she goes out, place the fake pool of nail polish on her keyboard. She's horrified. <laughs> But as soon as she touches the pool, her shock fades away. She sighs with relief. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need a hot glue gun and some nail polish. Oh, how much you guys know I love hot glue guns. So I just go ahead and put some of this hot glue. I'm just gonna make it look like I got it all over, all over Lonnie's computer. Kind of make like a trail, kind of like it spilled like that. That should be good. Now I gotta wait for this to dry. Okay, this is all dried now. Just gotta pick this stuff off. Now I need to paint it, glob a lot of it on there. I think it's supposed to be done whenever it looks like you put nail polish on dog shit. Oh man, all this coffee inside my body makes me have to take a hot piss. <gasps> okay boys, now it's time for me to strike. Okay, so Lonnie doesn't really have a laptop for me to spill stuff on, so I'm just gonna do it on his iMac. There we go, looks perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna make it look like I'm doing my nails on his computer, like any person would do. It looks perfect. I can never tell the difference. Okay boys, I think I hear Lonnie coming. Hey guys, it's me, Lonnie Tubman. Oh, oh no, Lonnie! I'm so sorry! I was just doing my nails on your computer like best friends do, and I spilled it all over your iMac! This would be a pity if you didn't do this once a day. <laughs> Lonnie, I have something to tell you. It's a prank! This isn't real nail polish! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Just feels normal. Ice cream? Oh yeah, that's bad. Okay, so this one looks pretty easy. All we gotta do is grab some shaving cream, put it in a cup. Yeah, that looks pretty passable as ice cream. Stick a spoon in there and boom, we got some ice cream. Now let's see if it'll work on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky, I have a sweet treat for you. I made you some ice cream. Do you want to try? Yes. It's some good ice cream. I think you'll really enjoy it. It doesn't really look like ice cream, bro. Tori, that is 100% real authentic ice cream from real cow. It looks like whipped cream. Oh my god, he's so gross. <laughs> I got you! I pranked you! That's so gross, bro. Yeah, spit that out before you get sick. I, I don't oh. think you should actually eat that. Well, I already ate it, so... <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Did you like? No, I don't like. I don't approve. I got you! So this one is another classic. All you're gonna need is some cling wrap and some tape. Go ahead and take the cling wrap and just uh, duct tape it to your door. And then duct tape it to the other side. That way it sticks. And then just kind of keep doing it through the whole door. Now all you have to do is wait. Oh my gosh, look at the time. I gotta go. It's quitting time. So your friend's about to leave and boom! Instant regret. I'm not gonna lie, in the slow-mo shot, it kind of looks like he poured the coffee on himself on purpose. I think you need one of those hydrophobic shirts, my friend. You wouldn't have gotten any stains on your shirt. I'm pretty excited to try this one. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so Tori is in her office right now. Uh, she's been in there a sec. This gives us a perfect opportunity. So here's our duct tape. Here's our plastic wrap. Let's do this. Okay, guys, and it's complete. Now all I have to do is call Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Come here, I want to show you something cool. What does this do? Does it stop me? You've been trapped! <gasps> I've been trapped. There's no way I could ever get out of this. It's not like I have weapons. Oh in no, here. Tori, what are you doing? Oh my god! Tori, you're going crazy! What? Oh my what? Take that. 
I definitely didn't take that into account that you had an axe. I had an axe and a machete in my room. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say if my girlfriend didn't have an axe and a machete, uh, I think this one would have probably worked. You always have an axe and machete in your room. You never know when you'll need to use it. <laughs> yeah, moral of the story. <laughs> Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. Grandma, did you know that if you put salt on top of ketchup, it makes it warm? Salt. Yo, that's crazy. Put your hand, you feel it? <laughs> oh, hey, Jordan! Hey, I want to show you a cool trick. Okay. I just saw this one on TikTok. It's really awesome. Oh. So, um, you just get some ketchup, mm -hmm. right? Basic ketchup. Uh -huh. Then you get yourself some salt. Dude, it's like hot. It makes the ketchup hot. Isn't that crazy? Feel it. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one's free to work. I'll see you later, Chris. Have fun cleaning that up. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's our cereal. All you gotta do is cut out the bottom. I'm gonna take these out first. There we go, don't need these anymore. Then we get our piece of paper and just kind of hold it like that. And we pour all the cereal back into the box. There we go. Okay, now it's time to carefully transfer this downstairs in the kitchen. And then we'll try it out on Chris. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. And just, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so there's Chris. Okay, now it's time to test this out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan! Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? Good, man. Hey, Good. I'm really sorry for the previous pranks that I pulled on you. They were mean, they were harsh, and I just wanna make it up. So, I got you your favorite cereal. It's right over there if you wanna have some. Oh, did you actually? You yeah. actually got the right, whoa! Yeah, dude, we got the, we got the milk! Sure, if that's what you want, uh, you know, got your bowl. Thank you. Oh! oh thank you. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! What? What the heck, Chris? You you get my favorite thing just to ruin it? Why would you do that? Why, did you Why do would it? you do Why that? Why would you do this? You made a mess, Chris. You guys are kidding me, Chris? What? I leave you alone for two seconds. I knew. I knew. I, I knew. I shouldn't have believed believed it. I I don't even care. I don't even care. Pranks on you. I don't care. Chris, the I pranks like on me because you been pranked! At least I'll get one bowl out of it. Oh, this milk is bad. <laughs> Why is there chunks in the milk? Is that part of the prank? Yeah, you've been I don't, pranked! This milk is three months expired! <laughs> this is expired. Dude, smell that. Look, that expired like a week and a half ago. Yes. It's chunky milk. Look at these chunks, dude. <laughs> what the heck? You were the. Alright. You ruined the whole thing. Okay, good prank. Good job. Good prank. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. <laughs> Let's go pull another prank on Chris. I'll see you later, dude. I'm definitely not going to pull another prank on you today. Try this prank on for size. Well, this sucks to see the trick. Oh my goodness, Sophia, Sally, help her. Give me that thing. That's it. Okay, so as you guys probably know, I actually re-pierced my own lip. So I'm pretty sure that Chris will actually believe that I pierced my tongue myself. So let's see if he actually falls for this one. Here's our tongue. Here's our toothpick. It's a little bigger than a toothpick. Maybe a giant's tooth. Anyway, okay, let's try this. Oh, hey, Jordan! Hey! What's how, up, dude? How's it going? Good, man. Yeah, so, okay, so you know how I pierced my lip a, a little while ago? Uh -huh. Today, I want to pierce my tongue. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, dude, it'll be fine. Is this for YouTube? I don't think you should do it. What? Chris, no, it's gonna be a great idea. Like, I do not regret piercing my lip at all. So here's what I'm using today. It's a regular old shish kebab. I don't know if that's even gonna work. No, I need to gauge it up. My ring is around here somewhere. You have a tongue ring? Can you sterilize this while I get my tongue ready? Chris, I need you to sterilize it. I don't know if I wanna be a part of this. Chris, here are some pliers. Here's my blowtorch. Okay. And just freaking sterilize that thing for me. Okay. All right, dude, there you go. Cool. Okay, now it's time for the for the hard part. I'm gonna pierce my lip. Okay. I'm really scared about this. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm nervous. Okay. okay, I'm ready. Three, two, we're done. Oh, no, 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 no
Story guys, don't pierce your own anything. It's a bad idea. A terrible idea. You didn't put it in. No. You pushed out. Wow, Chris. We didn't even unscrew the thing. <laughs> we should have took the ball off in the first place. I got you. You've been pranked. I've been pranked. Well, I'll see ya. All right, bye. I'm gonna go get myself a tattoo. <laughs> Do you want to get a snack? Offer your friend a special sandwich. Wrap a plain good sandwich in plastic wrap. Draw black spots on. They look like dirt or mold. She takes it eagerly at first, but gives it back as soon as she sees the disgusting spots on it. Your friend is shocked. How can I eat this stuff? I reveal the secret, and we laugh together. Hey Lonnie, I made you some lunch. Oh my god, this is so unexpected. I'm, what the f is that? <laughs> it's it's definitely mold. Why you would not, you knowingly feed me mold? <laughs> do you not want it? I mean, mold is my favorite food group. That's what cheese is, right? <laughs> it was a prank. There's no mold on it at all. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna take that sandwich back now. But but I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay, so first we're gonna need some like a lipstick stuff, but I don't have any uh, so I'm just gonna use this acrylic paint that I have I'm sure it's like the same thing So we're just gonna put that on our hand and then we just kind of mix it up with our little brush That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, oh no, I cut myself. What do I do? So we do that and then we just kind of get some glue and then we dab that on there I'm not sure exactly what the glue does, um, but I mean I, I did it so uh, <laughs> Then we get some toilet paper. Just gotta rip that up kind of like that maybe. Yeah, just like that then I'm not sure what they did here. I think they kind of like ripped it up a little bit maybe Maybe they just ripped some of the excess off like that. Yeah, that ought to work Now a little bit more glue on there just to kind of you know make it a little bit more liquidy Maybe it'll dry better like that and they put a little bit more red stuff on there. Maybe it's to give it some texture to make it actually look like a gash. Then they went ahead and added some black. So I'm just gonna do that. Again, I'm pretty sure it's just to make it like have some more texture. So, uh oh. Yep, I definitely put way too much on there. Well, that's no good. Maybe I gotta dab it like that. Yeah, sure, that works. And last but not least, they put some petroleum jelly on it. Just gonna scoop that up, stick it on there. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks pretty good. This doesn't look like a real cut at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, now uh, let's try and test this out on tour. Okay guys, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend to fall and then cut my hand. I'm just gonna place the camera right here. I'm sure that she'll never notice it, okay? Just be real quiet. Shh. Hey, Bransky, where are you? I love you so much. Where even are you? I really gotta clean my carpets, Jesus. I'm, I, uh, Tori, ow, it hurts us. Tori! She's taking forever, what's going on? Tori Dabratsky, I've fallen and hurt my hand. Tori Dabratsky, I fell and I hurt my hand. Are you gonna help me? No, oh it hurts so bad, can you kiss us? No, I don't want, I don't want gummy worm. I want you to kiss my hand. No, I don't want two gummy worm. I want you to kiss hand. Not three. What? <laughs> I don't want you to Can you believe that? I fell and hurt my hand. You fell? I didn't know. You didn't hear, you didn't hear me crying? Wow. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I heard. Wow, what great girlfriend. I can't believe she didn't come when I hurt myself. Can you kiss it? I don't want to, it's really gross. Give me kisses. Rubbing it into black. I want kisses. I can give you band-aid. It's not the same. I can't believe that my girlfriend doesn't care that I cut my hand. What kind of girlfriend even are you? Wow, it's all better. It doesn't hurt anymore. Thank you so much. I love you. No, 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 What, you don't want me to get my cut on your hand? Try to break your fake blood on me. Try to break it's real blood. I need you to give it a kiss. Give it a big kiss. Give it a Whoa! I don't give hand kisses. It, hand gross. It feels so good Ooh. now. Thank you so much, Tori Bransky. No problem. You really, you really healed me. So did I heal you? Well, guys, I guess we can say that the power of kisses works. Wait, that wasn't the prank, though. So, did it work? I guess this prank doesn't work. Boo!
Oh. But seriously, can I have kisses? I don't want to kiss on there. <laughs> Gross. Okay guys, so imagine this. Your teacher comes into class and he's like, what the heck? And all of a sudden, he's like, what are you guys up to? He's confused, conflicted even. Put his foot down. <gasps> Little does he know, they're all him. What? What's going on? That's me. That's, that's me. What? Oh my gosh. I would be scared too. Okay, sounds good. Uh, all I need to do is print out a picture of Tori's face and put it on my face. Easy peasy. Let's do it. Hey guys, so remember in the video uh, where I took down my craft corner I said that I actually have a separate viewing room now. Well, uh, this is it This is where the magic happens behind the scenes. I'm really sorry about uh, the mess. It's kind of uh, It's kind of crazy right now. Anyway, I'm just in here so that I can use this printer But first I need to find a good photo of Tori. Okay, let's see Do we have any of just her face. This one would be interesting. Her eyes are just all like darkened out. That would be a crazy one. I think that this one might be a winner. And print? Do your thing, printer. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Whoa, this face. Gosh, dang. Whoa. It's a pretty good face. What do you think, guys? Think we can pull it off? Yeah, I, I, I think it'll work. Okay, now let's cut it out. I'd say this turned out uh, pretty good. Now let's test it out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Yes. Hey, guess what? what? I have something very extremely important to tell you. I'm you. Wait, no, <laughs> that's so weird, Rob. <laughs> oh, are you gonna tape it to my yeah. face? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm you, Tori Dabransky. So weird. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. You want to make out? Oh, you're gonna be like making out with yourself. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I am not a fan of a second Tori. What? I think she needs to go. You know, what? Wait, wait, what happens? Oh my, what? I am myself. Now you're yourself. It's like I don't have to get ready in the morning. I could just tape a picture of my face to my face with makeup on. Bam, I'm good. This looks oddly, this just looks weird. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I feel like we ultimately confused Tori. Well, I gotta go. Time, time. <laughs> okay, guys. Chris is just chilling out on the couch, watching Avatar. I think he's like half asleep. Here's a rope. Just... Yeah, stab it. Wow, this juice carton is kind of hard to cut, actually. I was not expecting that. That is really... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to break out my craft knife. Oh! Did I just get really weak all of a sudden? How the heck? Get 
Dude, the bottom of a juice cart? These things are freaking tough. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, yeah, that should do. We go ahead and get our balloon. Go ahead and shove that in there. Boop. Cool. Now let's try to fill this up with water. Okay, I think this is gonna be a little harder than uh, it says that it's gonna be, so here we go. Oh God! Off to a good start. Oh, it's filling. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so far so good. Uh, I'm not sure how the heck I'm gonna close this without it getting everywhere. Um, maybe if I just close it like that. Dude, okay. How the heck am I gonna do this? Maybe if I twist it like this and then put it over like that. Yes! Okay, that might have worked a little too well. I'll just put it down here so he doesn't see it. Oh god. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look like a prank at all. Now let's try this one out on Chris. Oh, hey Chris, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. What's up, man? Uh, so, I know that you love yourself some good juice. Uh -huh. So, um, I'm really sorry for the last time I pranked you with juice. I would never do that again. Dude, dude. You feel the burn? Is that hot in That's not my favorite juice. Uh, here is your favorite juice. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, no you're problem. I just... You're really... <laughs> you did it again. I brought you. You know what? I don't even... I don't even have to say anything. I have nothing to say. Done. Nothing to say to that. Well guys, I guess we're gonna say that this one freaking works. She's black gel coloring into the center of the toothbrush near the base of the bristles. She brushes her teeth and suddenly sees herself in the mirror. She's shocked. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this one off. I'll never be able to tell the difference. Lonnie, huh? you need to brush your teeth after that sweet, sweet treat that I gave you earlier. You're probably right. I love oral hygiene as well as oral. I'm sure this will be fine. This, my toothbrush is here just like I left it. <laughs> just rinse this off incredibly thoroughly for no reason. What? I love activated charcoal toothpaste. I use it all the time. You've been praying! Son of a bitch! Not again! Now you got black! Okay, so I think I've done this one before, but I didn't do it correctly, and Tori ended up getting it uh, really quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our glasses, like these. Then I have a whole box full of locks right here. Just gonna go ahead and unlock that really quick. And then we go ahead and put them on the glasses, like so. Uh, almost there. Aha! Uh-oh, it's not going on. Ah! Dang it. What am I gonna do? I think this prank was on me. Hold on a sec, guys. I think I actually got them actually stuck. How could I do this to myself? I pranked myself. Okay, you did it. Maybe this lock will work. So I'm gonna set the code. Or how about three, four, five. Yeah, that ought to do it. Nice and simple. Okay, maybe this, this lock will work on this. I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe I have to uh, do it like this. I think I'm just gonna try and put two locks on it this time. Yeah, that ought to do it. Haha, <laughs> take that, Tori Dabransky. You'll never be able to use your glasses now. Now it's time to test this out on Tori. Tori Dabransky! Guess what? What? I have imprisoned your glasses. <laughs> oh no, I dropped the key. No, 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 no! I imprisoned your glasses and there's nothing you can do! Why would you do this, Robbie? How am I ever gonna get it out now? You're never gonna guess the combo! You're never gonna be able to use your glasses again! I forgot the combination, Tori. And I ate the key! No, you didn't. I just let you drop it. No, that, that was a fake key. That was not a real key. I got you! <laughs> In the open. You've been pranked! I've been... Hey, Tori, what's that behind your ear? It's the key! <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! Well, guys, I guess we could say that this prank worked! <laughs> Wait, how'd you get the combination? <laughs> how'd you guess the combination? How'd you know? I don't know how to open this one. I gave up on this one, so I just slid it off. Dang, I guess this one didn't work. This one, uh... It kind of worked, but it didn't work. No! Okay, guys, have you ever just, you know, been in class, and then all of a sudden your teacher gets up to use the restroom for a second? So you decide to use this opportunity to see what he graded your paper, and you are not happy about it. An F minus? How can you get below an F? You 
want to get them back. First thing you're going to need is some baking soda. Then you go ahead and get some black food coloring, some lens fluid. Um, I'm guessing that's like contact solution? I don't know. They have a strange way of naming things uh, here at Crafty Panda. Mix it all together and boom! You got yourself some black slime that kind of looks like coffee, maybe, right? Could look like coffee. Boom! Oh my gosh! Then you go ahead and put it down and you make it look like your teacher spilled his coffee. Or in this case, I'm gonna make Tori think she spilled her coffee. Okay, first things first, we get our baking soda. I don't know how much of this I really have left. Oh, I have a little bit. That's not too bad. Then we get our lens fluid. I think this is what they meant. It's multi-purpose solution for rinsing and storage. Yeah, that should be fine. They didn't really say how much to use, so I'm just kind of guessing, you know, just kind of vibing with it. Let me go ahead and get some black food dye. Oh, that's a lot. It's kind of almost like green. Oh, this looks awful. I definitely put way too much food dye in this. I think if I get this on my hands, my hands will literally be stained for a month. I feel like I need some more baking soda. Woo! Luckily, I just found some more. <laughs> Woo! Add a little bit more solution. Mix, mix, mix. Dude, this doesn't look like coffee at all. Do you guys see this? Right? I know I'm kind of colorblind, but like, this is green, right? It's not really turning into slime. Okay, let's uh, let's try it out. Oh, that definitely feels slimy. And it's definitely green. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think that this is also green. I'm pretty sure this is green. But I'm also pretty sure that this is gonna stain my hands because it's food coloring. I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick. Okay, my hands aren't too stained, but it definitely left some stuff on there. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to try this one out on Tori. Woo! Okay guys, so Tori and me, we're not really coffee people, but we do like ourselves a good root beer. But Tori, she leaves her soda bottles everywhere. And I always tell her, Tori, you need to watch out where you put your, your soda bottles because they're gonna get knocked over and they're gonna spill. So now, it's time to spill some soda by accident. Okay, so I guess the first thing to do, is put the slime out. I really hope this doesn't stain my counter. Dude, this doesn't look like coffee at all. This just looks like green sand and it's dyeing my hands. Oh my God. Uh, I don't like this slime recipe at all. Not good. And we put our bottle just like that. Yeah, wow, it's getting everywhere. Okay, let's go test it out on Tori. Tori Dabransky. Missy, you, you are in trouble. What did I do? I tell you. How many times a day to not leave your soda bottles lying around? Zero. <laughs> Tori, I tell you this all the time. Tori, come here. I need to. I need to show you this. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, that looks so gross. Looks like it's molding. This is what happens when you leave your soda bottles out. It's just mold. That's not mold. That's soda. It got spilled, Tori. That's not even my bottle. That's yours. <laughs> No, it, it, Tori, this is your bottle. I drink Dr. Pepper. I don't drink that. You've been pranked. That slime. I wouldn't touch it. It stained my hands. Uh, it's kind of gross, actually. Ew. I think it might have stained the counter. Um, Good luck getting that out. <laughs> well, guys, I'm kind of guessing that this one didn't work. Do you think it actually... Did, no. <laughs> did you fall? Probably it's green. And it's not like moving. It's like a solid green mass. <laughs> oh. I don't know what type of soda you're drinking, but that's <laughs> not it. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely doesn't work. <laughs> Cam, get out of the fridge. I'm making dinner. Cam, what are you doing? Get out of the fridge. <laughs> Okay guys, so I actually don't have any uh, sweatshirts here. I don't have any like hoodies. I live in Las Vegas and it's literally 107 degrees outside. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to Chris's office and see if he has any. Oh, hair Jordan! Oh, you're down in the kitchen? Yeah, I'm down in the kitchen. Oh, okay. I was just seeing where you were. For no reason. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna use the bathroom. It's time to do this. Oh, hey, Chris. Hey. Robbie, are you, are you wearing my hoodie? You've been pranked! Uh, I'm a little confused here. I gotta go. Wait, uh, you just trashed the kitchen. Robbie! <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> I, what? I swear I did. I swear I didn't mean to do this. This wasn't the prank. <laughs> did you go in my room? Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works.
I did not mean to do that much. I didn't. I just meant to do it like a little bit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, guys, so lucky for me, Tori has some green extensions that she wasn't using. So I'm just gonna take a piece off of that. Don't need those anymore. Here's our shaver. Let's kind of ball it up on our hand so he can't see how long it actually is. Perfect. That's about close to Chris's hair length, right? Okay, let's go test this out on Chris. Oh, hey, Hair Jordan. How's it going, dude? Yeah, what's up, dude? What you working on? Editing a video, you know? Nice, nice. Dude, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Dude, no! Did you really cut my hair? I cut Dude, your stop. hair! Why would you do that? Why would you cut my hair? Oh my gosh! For real? For real? Yeah? No, you did. Look, it's your hair! Robbie, come on! It's your hair! Oh my gosh. You've been pranked. I can't handle this. I cannot deal with it. I can't deal with it, dude. You're a lot to deal with. Has anyone ever told you that? People say, Robbie, you're a lot to deal with. You're a lot to deal with. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can say that this one's freaking wet. <laughs> So here's our butter knife. Here's our lipstick. All we gotta do, oh my gosh, that lipstick is so messed up. All we gotta do is do this. Ah, easy peasy, awesome. Sweet, now let's go test this out on Chris. Oh, hey Chris. Oh, hey dude, what's up? How you do it? Uh, uh, what, you, what you try, what you, yeah, what you up to? We'll make it some toast. Do you have a butter knife? Uh, of course I do. Nice, thank you. Uh, no, here, I'll, I can butter your toast for you. I'm a professional toast butterer. All right, thanks, I guess. Uh, yeah, no problem. Anything for a new office mate. Yeah, I've been buttering toast my whole life, and it's- Oh my god! You already did this one. Wait, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, you pranked me with this already. Good try, good try though. <laughs> Do you have a real butter knife though somewhere? Without lipstick on it? Uh. I'll, I'll, I'll just find it. I'll pay her back. Let her turn the tap on. Cover it with a coin. Tape it to attach. She turns on the tap. A fountain! Water has splashed all over her dress. Now to f with the sink. Now we're gonna turn it on. Oh, it works! I mean, oh, don't want Lonnie to hear me. I mean, it works. Lonnie, you need How to- How do you keep finding me in here? <laughs> this is, this is your room. That makes a lot of sense. Lonnie, don't your hands feel super, super gross from touching that uh, moldy sandwich? Yes, as a matter of fact, they do. You wanna go wash your hands, you dirty, dirty boy? No, just give him one of these, we're good. No, go wash oh, your hands! Okay, fine, if you insist. God, I wonder. What fresh <laughs> awaits me when I turn this sink off? What the f***? <laughs> now it looks like I wet my pants! And you wet your pants! We wet our pants together! Joke's on you, I actually just pissed myself. <laughs> okay, so first things first, we gotta take our pencil and then remove the eraser. That was easy. <laughs> then we get some bubble gum. Oh, here we go. I wonder if this will be enough. I'm gonna try and blow a bubble real quick. You guys ready? <laughs> That's way too much bubble gum. This hurts my jaw. Oh! Okay, anyway, now we just go ahead and put this on our pencil. Here we go. Okay, I think I might have chewed a little bit too much bubble gum for this. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, just like a normal pencil eraser. Perfect. <laughs> there was one flaw that I had with this. I forgot to sharpen the pencil. <laughs> just gonna sharpen that up really quick. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. This looks like a, a normal pencil eraser, if you ask me. Now it's time to test it out on Tori. <laughs> oh, Tori Dabransky! I'm gonna pretend like I'm practicing my signature, and then I'll ask her to write hers, and then I'll be like, I think we ran out of paper, so I think you have to erase it to try again. I think that'll work. Tori Dabransky, I've been practicing my signature, and I want to see how yours is. What's wrong with your pencil? It's a normal pencil. I don't know what you're talking What's about. What's wrong with it? Here, write your signature. Oh that looks so gross, Robbie. I ran out of paper. You have to erase it somehow. <laughs> Tori, what are you doing? Your eraser's broken. Um, What's wrong with your eraser? I don't, I don't know. It looks like it melted. Ah, I got you. That is so gross. You've been pranked, Tori Dabransky. That's not an eraser. That's bubble gum. No, really? I got you. Well, Tori Dabransky, you've been pranked. Yeah, that's so gross. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Ooh. You want some bubble gum? I don't. That's Here, egg. take some bubble gum. Taste it. No. Toy. I just feel like you could have been nicer to me. Oh, my gosh. What you doing? I'm oh, just making you some food. Oh, oh, dude, that's super nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Hey, so I have something to, to tell you, Chris. What? Um, I know you're like making me food and stuff, and like you do all this, this stuff for me, but like I feel like I feel like you could have been nicer to me today. Good. Yeah. I could have been nicer. Yeah. After you ruined my coffee. After you tied me to the couch. Dude, you threw a snake on me. Dude, are you kidding me? You think I could have been nicer? And now I'm the one making. Why am I even making you food? I shouldn't. Be doing this. You know what? That's fine. You can just, here's your food, just like you asked, all right? Maybe next time I will be nicer, I don't know. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one freaking works! Oh, prank, I'm sorry. Wait, Chris, come back. Chris, it was a prank. So, Chris, no, come back. No, dude, it was it was a joke. Like that TikTok, have you not, have you not seen it? Wait, Chris, come back. <laughs> Chris, I'm sorry. So, there's our green screen. Let's do this. Okay, not gonna lie, I can barely see in here, but oh, I think I can do it. Dude, what the heck? Robbie, what are you doing? There's no Robbie here! I mean, I'm not even here! You know I can see you, right? What are you talking about? You know this only works in editing, right? You know how green screens work? Look, wait, what? It only works in editing, dude. You're not invisible. Let me watch the show. You've been pranked! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, guys, so here's our snake. Here's our string. You can't really even see it. It's perfect. Let me just go ahead and tie the string to the snake. Just like that. There we go. Snip off the extra. Oh no, the snake's gonna attack me. Oh! Perfect. Now we put our tape. Tie that off. Awesome, let's go try this out on Chris. Okay, there he is. Put that in. Just like that. Oh, hey, Chris. How are you doing, my guy? My, my dude? Good, man. So, Nora, welcome you to the office. I actually filled the fridge with your favorite foods. Really? Yeah. Are you uh, serious? Yeah, dude. Go check it out. All right. Thank you, man. No problem. Yeah, when I sent you that list of your favorite foods, I just I just went out and bought them all, you know? Oh, dude, thank you. No problem. Whoa, hey, what's that? Just kidding, it's a frickin' prank. You been prank. You think I would buy you food? You didn't have to ask for all my favorite foods to do this prank. You could have just not. You didn't you didn't get any of them. This uh, green but beans. But you love green beans. There's green beans in here. This is not what I put on the list. Why even ask? It's a fake snake. It's, you've been pranked! Well guys, I guess we can say that this 
that's what freaking works. Unwrap the candy, put them away, replace them with big grapes. They look exactly like the candies. She thinks she's mistaken at first. There can't be a grape instead of a candy. So I'm just gonna undo all these candies. Okay, awesome. We don't need these anymore. Put these grapes in these little strawberry candies. I don't think Lonnie will ever tell the difference. Oh yeah, perfect replica. I kind of gave up on the last couple of them. Lonnie! I have a sweet, sweet, unhealthy treat for you. A good, unhealthy treat. Why is the camera on? I'm afraid. Why is it so cold? Is this a raisin? The moistest raisin I've ever seen. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a thumbs up. It looks something like this one right down there. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing all these crafts and pranks. Uh, it's right here. Click on it. Go watch it. Grab yourself some popcorn, some soda. Better than going to the movies. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Gordon. Okay, bye. Ah!